Scary Surreal Places and Time Lapse is a YouTube channel that speeds up raw footage of odd and interesting locations in search of anything out of the ordinary. They are recording a pure at random when this strange creature comes rushing towards them. I would say this is just a fish, but the animal clearly starts on land and paddles to them before submerging at the last second. They shine their lights around both sides of the pier, but whatever it was is long gone. The animal is very small, but the wide wake left in its path suggests that it's much more powerful than it seems. Leave me your best guess as to what this could be, because even the uploaders of this video have never seen anything move like it before, and they themselves are not sure what it was. This video was recorded more than five years ago. It shows the pointer moving around the Ouija board on its own at first, but then it somehow levitates and begins flying away. There's a good chance that this is CGI. At least, that's the only explanation that I can think of besides actual spirits. After Snapchatting, a kid knocked down some stuff with a soccer ball. The boy's father confronts this teen over it. He deletes the Snapchat, but the father wants the police called. He tries to run, but the father grabs his waist and tells him he's not going anywhere. I'm not filming your kid. You're not leaving anywhere. He's holding me up against yes, the bikes. Hey, yes, sir. sir in the red hat. Yes, sir. Hey, can you come back, please? Yes, sir. Call him. Call him. Call him. Nobody's touching you. You f hold hey, me you, up against the bikes. You're trying to walk off. You're gonna cuss me out and film my. The guy recording is obviously frightened at this point and tries to leave multiple times, but is always grabbed and stopped by the father. An officer eventually arrives and after hearing what happened, he says what the teen did isn't against the law and tells him to take off. So I am going to ask you to leave and if something's on there, I ask you. I'm not telling you, please delete it. Yes, I know it's going. I promise you it's right, going. Get out of here. Leave right. the store. Whatever right. y'all got. Thank to you. Talk. I think it's understandable that this father didn't want his son being recorded, but he handled the situation in a way that made this encounter way worse for everyone involved. In the moment, you might not catch some unexpected apparition appearing around you. It's only when you play that moment back that you find it. Published by William Villas in September of 2013, he writes in Malé, This video was filmed on August 3rd, 2013 when we were waiting for the troops to have a video clip that was still unavailable. The video shows a group of men sitting and talking in the darkness. They appear to be sitting in a stairwell as they laugh, completely oblivious to what's going on around them. You see a girl dressed in white with long black hair and shoulders hunched forward pass by slowly at the top of the stairway. The men must not have noticed in the moment as they continue on as usual, but they sure must have gotten the scare of their lives when they watch this clip back later on, only to make this mysterious and unexpected discovery. Once you see the apparition, you watch it again, over and over, because you can't look away from it. Up a long forest mountain path is an abandoned house near the Chinese city of Chengdu that is said to be haunted. An explorer named the Sneezing Monkey travels to the fabled house to see if anything paranormal is there. There's not much left inside, but he does find an old book that he seems particularly interested in. At 2 minutes and 6 seconds, it almost looks like it gets slapped out of his hands by a possible ghost, but he could have dropped it too. Tell me what these pages say. For some reason, he seems to feel it's interesting enough to show the camera. Not much else happens, and just when I was doubting this house was haunted, I hear this. He's looking in some kind of fire pit or something and hears a noise. He looks up and hears it again coming from the attic. He doesn't stick around for long and wisely decides to leave. A YouTuber named Sydney Ghost Hunter records this strange noise at 3 a.m. It's definitely not his cat. Now, here's the weird part. You'd think this was the noise of a wild animal, but Sydney Ghost Hunter says he did not hear anything in real life, and I believe him because his cat never so much as looks up. Man, I'm in a two way tunnel right now, man. If you down now, don't do it! He's moving! He's moving! <laughs> 
A YouTuber named Tristan R is trapped in a tunnel when he sees his worst fear creep across his visor, a spider. There's nowhere to pull over, so now he has to keep one eye on the spider to make sure it doesn't land on him, and one eye on the road to make sure he doesn't cause a pileup. He finally is able to get out and pull his visor down. To show us a spider was in fact dangling over his lap by a thread this whole time. It might not look like much to most of you, but for anyone who has a major fear of spiders, it's large enough. He pulls away thinking that he's seen the last of them, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are hundreds more inside. A YouTube explorer named Adventures with Josh tracks what he later describes as a strange creature sighted while exploring an abandoned house in the middle of some rather scary woods at night. The structure he finds is no bigger than a doghouse and is empty upon investigation, but when he turns around and looks up, he sees it, and it sees him. What is it? That thing is freaky. Hello? A mysterious creature with glowing white eyes stares down without a word. I know it's a creature and not someone wearing night vision goggles, because the glowing blank eyes blink multiple times. I can't even tell what animal that is. No, it doesn't look like a possum. A possum was my next guess, but apparently the eyes are too far apart for it to be one. The brow resembles a human more than an animal. I don't know what this strange creature sighting is, but it does seem to be waiting for him to leave, so it can go back to its creepy abandoned home in the middle of the woods. This short clip captured an eerie figure in an office building at night. Published by Emily Durkin in January of 2019, the lights are on in the second floor of this office building, and they're just bright enough to reveal this creepy silhouette. While the YouTuber thinks it's a ghost, the Phantom is certainly a small one then. It does look like the silhouette of a human figure, but it stands very still and doesn't move from the frame of the window pane. Do you think this is a ghost? If not, what else might it be? And what the heck are they doing in this office building at night? This one left me with more questions than answers. In this lost tape, some young punks are playing around with a brown paper bag throwing it at each other before they go to plant it on the doorstep of a stranger. Once it's placed there and lit, one of the punks knocks on the door and races away, while the old man homeowner opens the door to find it flaming there and stomps it out. It probably didn't seem so funny when the men attempted to prank him for a second time. This time, the old man comes after them and they just manage to escape, but the third time's a charm. When the prank is attempted a third time, the man is waiting for them. He peers down through the curtains of the door window, whips open the door to strike the young guy on the head, and then drags him into the house. When the two others go to investigate, they videotape the front hallway, where the old man is seen leaving into the next room. They then head around the outside of the house and into the backyard. That's where they meet their maker. No other information on what happened next could be found. This abandoned house ended up being one of the most active places that the YouTube team from iConjure TV has ever investigated. Here's just one example. <gasps> Get lost. Something definitely fell or moved. You can hear it plain as day. Lost. I don't know what that was, but I think they should get out of there as quickly as they can before it's too late. Shawnee Explores takes a Ouija board into the forest and places it just outside of a haunted cottage where a man took the life of his spouse. It isn't long before his electromagnetic frequency reader starts going crazy, so he and his friends know they are in the right place and set up the board. Soon they are channeling the spirit of a small boy who only refers to himself by the initials SF. 
They ask the boy for his age and some other questions, but apparently it's only interested in trying to warn them about a hidden danger, R-U-N it spells, so they get out of their fast without properly ending the ceremony. When Shawnee explores remembers that he needs to select goodbye or risk becoming possessed, he discovers that he can't move the pointer without an extreme amount of force. It's almost as if something is not letting him move. You can see the pointer barely moving despite Shawnee pressing very hard, but I guess he could be pressing straight down instead of forward to create this illusion. I think this video is probably real, but I can't tell for sure so give me your best guess and let's figure it out together. I have Al Kasimia of a ghost hunting channel called The Horror. The Horror is looking for a phantom figure said to haunt this building in Israel. A ghost who is apparently quite eager to be caught on camera. He keeps hearing a sink drip even though no water is coming from the faucet because no water runs to the building. The ghost hunter also detects small movements in windowless rooms that are devoid of all life. That's when something inside of him says that trouble is near, that he needs to check out the window. A mysterious and shadowy figure is caught on camera, an apparition capable of powerful acts. Based on what happens next, the ghost hunter knows he's been marked by the jinn, but there is no time to get out of the way as the spirit seemingly teleports inside. The featureless shadow figure peers around the corner and the brave ghost hunter gives chase. When he rounds the corner, all traces of the paranormal entity are gone. If this is not paranormal, then I wonder how the ghost was able to disappear within seconds. There are no editing cuts that I can see. YouTuber D-Dog Michael is back at it again, exploring this abandoned place, and he is not alone. <laughs> After being scared to his wit's end, Michael enters another dark room and sees this. Did that hand just confront him? The mystery continues as he enters a room of mirrors. After this terrifying encounter, he keeps on going. Someone is there for sure. <laughs> and that someone is stalking him. Come on, you. Michael hears both a girl and a man in this haunted place, but are they good or evil? 
I think that he'd better hedge his bets because he can't be sure. The Bucket List Boys are an adventurous group of friends who are excited about taking the 24-hour challenge in an old haunted hospital. Most of the video is relatively normal until night falls and the atmosphere suddenly changes from playful to serious. Justin, I know that was you. Dude, what are you talking about? Right here. Wait. Shut up. That wasn't that wasn't you? No, that was you. Stop playing this. They quickly grow more and more nervous from mysterious sounds until eventually they just want to leave. They're trying to figure out a way when something that's just way out of place pedals across their path. Do you remember which way it is? Uh, no. Did you hear that? What? What the oh, oh, no. Oh. A small right tricycle rides by and sends the bucket list boys running in the opposite direction at full speed. They're in such a hurry to escape whatever's behind them that one of them almost falls down a dark hole with no visible bottom. They barely make it out in time and never look back. Hopefully this was just a prank and nothing really followed them outside. When Reactor 4 burst at Chernobyl in 1986, a 10km exclusion zone was formed and thereafter was increased to 30 kilometers. The initial steam blast resulted in two passed away, while a further 28 passed within months of exposure. These numbers do not even touch upon the total passing toll caused by radiation, and they also don't touch upon the mutations in humans or animals in the area. Which brings us to this footage published in March of 2014. The uploader states that the video is filmed at Chernobyl Power Plant. A close-up of an animal in the area appears to show a headless form on four legs running across the railroad tracks. It almost looks like a headless deer. Some in the comments say that it looks like a large deer with the face of a rabbit or a moose with a twisted neck. And still others say the creature appears as though its neck is deformed and bending towards the opposite side. Mutant or not kind of makes you wonder what other nightmare creatures are lurking in the area. Blake Dunkley wants to document this old haunted grocery store, and he challenges you to prove him wrong. Noises always seem to be coming from one room away. Are you hearing this? It's the creepiest building I've ever been in. Some much more obvious than others. He heads up the stairwell to prove that this is real. I think this next part sounds like a door slamming shut from somewhere above, and I also think it sounds like he needed to get the heck out of there. On the second floor is a single door that is locked when Blake tries it. This is the only door heavy enough to cause the slamming noises coming from upstairs before, but it doesn't even open. The only areas left to check out are the break room and bathroom. Nothing of interest is in here, so he's just about to leave when he hears one final sound. In my opinion, this is the same door that was locked moments ago, now slamming one more time. This scary Reddit video was posted by a user named Naval Court, who says he caught a spirit giving his friend's child a hard time while it's trying to rest. First, the child stands up as if he sees somebody enter, or maybe he's even called over. He slowly looks up at something much taller than him, and as soon as he lays his eyes upon it, he falls with four. He sits off and shakes it off, and then something flies by overhead. He even looks over his shoulder and sees it. Some people think the kid is just acting silly, as children tend to do, and maybe even shaking his head to try and stay awake. But I agree with Naval Court that this is weird and could be a ghost like he thought. A TikToker named Brandy Sawyer is exploring an abandoned house with some friends and thinks she sees a ghost before they even get inside. It's standing in the center top right window, the vague outline of a person pressed against the glass. If you don't see anything, let me circle the head. Do you see it now? What's weird is that the windows above and below are clean, and even the top part of this window is clean too, and yet this one section is hard to see through and contains a round floating object, possibly a face, that seems to follow their moves. There's nowhere to escape when you're on a haunted island. The Hype Mike crew soon realizes that not only can't they escape, 
but something is in the house with them. They discover the front door open. Did we leave the door open? Like I feel like we would have closed that. No, at least the wooden door too. You know. Then they see something truly terrifying outside. What was that? The guys described the creature. There's something outside, dude. There's like a what? thing. What it had like talk? its face was all like. I couldn't. I could. Something was over his face. I don't know if it was like a mask or something, but yeah, something, something was over his face, face, and he had like a up. like a. Outside, they hear a call in the wilderness. I think I heard something up there. And as they continue on, they get closer to it. Shh. Oh, what was that? Wow. We're definitely getting closer. Like really close. And they get even closer. Oh my That's dead. I thought it was another one of those skull things. I think we should try to like find its like base camp. Cause that until they find its base camp. It's another one of those skulls. Oh Hello? Is this creature watching them? It seems to have left some sort of warning on the ground. What is that is that, is that a brain? Stop, 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 stop. <coughs> what the f And amongst the brambles of the creature's base camp, they find this. Jesse? What? Is that a f Look at this. We need to get out of here. Arriving at the water's edge, they see this. We gotta go. We gotta. I think he's right. They've gotta go. Wouldn't you? I sure would. Creepy things are waiting to crawl up your wall when you live in Florida. Steve Crumbaker watches in horrified fascination as a lack of limbs does not keep this snake from ascending a brick wall with relative ease. It uses the space between the bricks to scale the wall, always searching for the next small groove to fit into. In two minutes, the large snake has managed to wrap itself around the windowsill and appears to lie in wait. They say in the description that it's a rat snake that's harmless to humans, and I wanted to double check if they were right, so let me know. Harmless or not, it would nevertheless provide quite a scare for anyone unfortunate enough to open a window and find one dangling in front of their face. Chris from YouTube channel Sees Crazy Crossroads is sent packing from this abandoned restaurant. He first hears a strange noise in the kitchen. Sounds like... He believes it could be residual noise from passing vehicles on the road. It almost sounds like a beehive swarming to me, but then he hears what he thinks sounds like voices. Uh, I want. I want to say that it's, it's it sounds like a couple of different voices. I'm not catching that, but I do hear the road noise, which is an eerie wail. He hears the sound again. Phonic app's not working. Yeah. 
I, I hope you guys are pick I hope this is picking that up. I mean, that's clear as day. Well, I'm not sure the mic is capturing what he's hearing. It does capture this next voice, and it's pure evil. I don't blame Chris for leaving at this point. If I heard that, I'd be out of there too. Beyond this fence lays an abandoned asylum that a YouTuber named TGF Bro and his friends badly want to explore. The inside looks like a tattered mansion on the verge of collapse. Strange noises follow them as they progress deeper into the interior of the asylum. When they get deep enough, TGF Bro pulls out a Ouija board and begins directing questions to whoever or whatever is near. If there's anybody there, please move the triangle to yes. The group hears a loud bang directly behind them, and they all take off. I noticed that the third person was off camera though, so maybe that person made the commotion and then acted scared. Then again, old asylums are supposed to be notoriously haunted, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Ouija board really did bring spirits near. I like screaming or something in this tunnel. I'm gonna go check it out. You may think you're ready for this list, but some scary videos you're just not meant to see. The boy in this video says he hears something in this tunnel that sounds to him like a scream, so he decides to go investigate. But no, the boy enters the darkness with nothing but a void at the end of it. For a while, all you hear is his own footsteps, then you hear this. Sounds like Alien vs Predator up in here. The kid stops for a moment, and in that quiet, a couple footsteps splash through the water. He then says hello to the creature he cannot see, before heading forward again. But he doesn't get very far. The rattling sound echoes throughout the tunnel before the thing starts to screech in a way that makes your insides tremble. As he runs, the creature quiets for a time but lets out a final terrifying screech as the boy exits the tunnel, likely wondering what in the world he almost happened upon. Is this for real? If so, what lies in the depths of this underground? Dark Dominator thinks it's the rake, while well, the last one suggests it's a feral hog, but I've never heard a rattle like that from a hog before. Lesson learned, the next time you hear screaming in the darkness, it's best to run in the opposite direction. This giant flat creature is actually a beached oarfish fish laying on its side. A confirmed bystander pushes it back into the water with her paddle, which could be a mistake because it proceeds to head directly for the person holding the camera. Although it seems more concerned with getting away than taking a bite, this is still not an animal that I would want to have anywhere near me, especially in such shallow waters. It almost seems to make eye contact as it passes directly under her feet before straightening out and swimming away. The G-Team Paranormal is visiting this creepy cemetery at midnight. They say it's known for its shadows and other paranormal activity. Let's see what they captured. One of their paranormal devices goes off right away. <gasps> Did you see that? It lit yeah, up all colors. Red. Yeah. Can you hold it on red then? Hate. It says hate. Another is triggered as they wait in the darkness. Yeah, it did. Oh, there it goes again. It heard you. <laughs> then a series of events occurs. There was something that was just glowing right over there, guys. I don't know what the <laughs> that was. Oh, something just flew and landed in this tree. What? Really? Happiness. Happiness. I swear to 
something just landed in this tree. Just landed at the bottom of the tree. Oh, it says happiness, death. Death? What? But well, we're in a cemetery. Right. Again, a device goes off. And amongst the creepiest of their captures, they film what looks like a tall, dark shadow. Later, a connect reveals the spirits holding hands with one of the team. What's going on, guys? Watch, wow, she puts his hands in her hands. Oh my. Yo, he's gone, horses. Oh, oh there, yeah, he there he is. Look. Oh my God, look at that. Watch, look, he's grabbing her hand. Look. He's still doing it? Yeah. Oh my God. The shadow and this connect energy are it for me. The spirits are lively in this cemetery. Next time you're wandering through a forest, look out for the trees. They might just be hiding duppies. Posted to YouTube by Javahan Ferguson in January of 2020. This video purports to show proof of a duppy caught in a tree. What's a duppy? Meaning ghost or spirit. The concept originated in Central Africa. Caribbean folklore in particular grasped onto the supernatural nature of the duppy. Many residents in fact claim to have seen them. The malevolent spirits appear most often at night and are meant to haunt the living. In the video, the so-called duppy woman appears to somehow be perched atop a tree. She is waving to someone or something beyond. If not something supernatural, how is this woman managing to stand or float atop a tree like this? And if she is a duppy, what imaginable malice does she intend to induce? Someone is watching you. Published by Paranormal Voyages in January of 2022. This paranormal crew is not just paranoid. As they're tuning into the spirits and or demons of this place, one of the crew sees something pop up outside through the window. There's something outside. Here. Here. Later, as she's wearing headphones to listen in to what the spirits have to say, she feels someone, and then that someone speaks. Who are you? What are you? Whoa! Move her chair, it said, in a deep man's voice. Well, so you move the chair. After the demon says to touch her and make her cry, the crew urges the demon to leave. Make her cry, he said. No, you cannot no, make her cry. You're gonna have to leave. You can't yeah. do anything negative. The woman looks very shaken up, and she says she felt weird vibes. Are these the vibes of a demon? More than likely, a security guard is patrolling the San Francisco College campus when he catches a glimpse of an all-black figure moving fast. He quickly rounds the corner and finds absolutely nothing there. Notice how the silhouette is traveling in a straight line at a high rate of speed and has no time to run up the steps or to hide on the right before the security guard catches up with it. I don't see any jump cut editing either, so I think this could really be an actual ghost. A paranormal channel called Love to Investigate has one of the creepiest ghost videos ever. A sighting that looks real and must have been terrifying for them to have caught on camera. I don't like looking behind shower curtains, that just creeps me right out. The bathroom again. The That's pretty cool, Alice. They are exploring a haunted mental asylum when the spirit of a former patient glares at them from the hallway. When they look up, it's leaving as she makes a comment about the smell. That's pretty cool, Alice. Smells like an hospital in this part, definitely. The apparition has long black braids and wears a long dress that women had to wear at the mental asylum long ago. The paranormal investigator later comments that they had no idea they were being watched by the supernatural at the time. Had they known, they would have ran away in the opposite direction. A family in the Bahamas recorded the horrors they endured. Posted to Twitter by Gilbert NMO Morris, he writes, it has been 14 hours now with Dorian in Freeport, Bahamas, and this is the roof of a home there.
Take notice of the wind and rush of the waves. This family was already on the top floor of the house. Can you imagine holding steadfast in the roof of your home moments away from being swallowed by the sea? The event is reportedly one of the worst on record to hit the islands. The Bahamas will take years to recover from this. Around 300 homes were completely destroyed. No doubt the home shown in this video was one of them. On their last walk of the day, Redditor Gadden420 and his dog heard something chilling in the woods. Listen closely. Let's hear it again. Many in the comments think it's a fox, others think it's a vixen, which according to one redditor, sounds like someone having their life ended. After listening to recordings of fox screams, I'd have to agree, that is what a fox says. Muna Bruzan bought this strange and creepy doll at an antique sale after she felt its eyes watching her. Now the doll apparently continues to do so as their connection grows stronger over time. Here you can see her pick up the doll to admire her. When the doll apparently comes to life, huh? you can hear Muna cry out in surprise as the doll turns towards her and flutters its eyes. I have no idea how this could have happened since both of her hands are nowhere near the doll's head when it turns to face her. When she puts the doll back down, it seems to understand that she is done playing and thoughtfully turns its gaze outside the window. This video was supposedly found on a deep web server under the file name EBE 1992 Iger. EBE is short for Extraterrestrial Biological Entity, and the uploader thinks Iger could be a mountaintop location in Switzerland. Obviously, 1992 refers to the year that this video was made. Anyway, What's especially odd is how the camera person moves around in a hurry as they record still photograph after still photograph of the strange grey alien. I get the impression that they were recording classified evidence from an area that they did not belong in. D Menace is a YouTuber from the Ukraine who gets a thrill from exploring abandoned places. He's really pumped to see every level of this old factory because in his mind, the bigger the building, the better the adventure. But little does he know this urban exploration has already gone wrong in a scary way. The abandoned place has a lot of dead end rooms, not to mention a creepy basement that fills him with unease. He can't even imagine who would ever live down here, but it looks like someone has before. The scariest place in the whole factory has to be this window because of what he's about to see next. D Menace is most likely walking around someone's turf. We all know where there's one creepy stranger, there's most likely more. Perhaps a whole misfit crew who doesn't take kindly to new faces, especially ones walking around with expensive camera gear waiting to get jacked. He soon suspects he's possibly being followed and decides to cut the urban exploration short before something else goes wrong. And it does. On the way out, he sees somebody stationed on the other side of a wall, like they're waiting for him. He accidentally makes a sound and the legs disappear from view. The exit is within sight and he is trying his best to creep along this wall unseen. He is tall and wearing a hat, so he's easy enough to see. Within seconds, a man stands over him, the same scary man he watched from the window. After a tense conversation, he soon learns that they are simply exploring the same abandoned place he is and probably thought they were being followed. It's a simple misunderstanding, but I can't help but wonder if this was scripted because at 10 minutes and 50 seconds, it looks more like D Menace is trying not to laugh rather than truly being scared. I guess we all react different to fear, so maybe the anxiety from getting caught is what caused this nervous smile. 
Anyway, the two urban explorers exchange information and agree to go look at more abandoned places together someday. Tell me if you think they knew each other beforehand, because if not, this encounter would have absolutely been terrifying for both parties. A lady in a car confronts this group after she believed they were making rude comments about her daughter. The group of boys try to argue that she is mistaken and they have done nothing wrong. The woman seems not to believe them and that's where things get heated. I'm just trying to look to where you live. Why? Why? You live. You're not coming to my house. I want to talk to your parents. You're not coming to my house. Are you going to cry? You're not coming to my house. She parks her car in the road and comes right up to the group. They begin to argue back and forth and nothing gets resolved. The police were eventually called and that's where the video ends. It remains unclear if the boys had done anything wrong or if the woman was acting like this for no reason. Sarah Presley of Meet the Presleys apparently has caught a ghost on camera who is trying a little too hard to better know her and her family. It's past midnight when her son Josh turns off the lights. A ghost orb appears in the middle of the video at 2 minutes and 8 seconds and then again briefly at 2 minutes and 13 seconds. When he crosses the room on his phone, the orb moves away from him. I think this light is from the screen of his phone. His mom, on the other hand, is creeped out beyond belief and pretty worried. Overall, I'm not sure if this video is paranormal or not and need your help to decide. I have no idea about the date, time, or location of this video. All I know is that it's supposedly been uploaded to the deep web because the original uploader didn't want to be tracked by the federal government in retaliation for getting their story out. A large bright blue object is quietly claiming the night sky outside of an apartment complex. What is this? What is that? It's a one angel. After a while, the sky blob stops in place and begins to expand outwards. Whatever it is, by the end of the video, it seems to take up nearly half of the sky. If this is real, then we probably would have never known any of this had ever happened without the anonymous deep web. YouTuber Hassan Barbar is used to encountering mysterious and paranormal anomalies. When he enters a room of this abandoned place, something is hiding beneath the covers. The figure is rocking and moaning, and his son gets closer to investigate. As he approaches, he senses something else behind him. And still, he gets closer. After finding the figure has disappeared, Hassan continues to investigate the rest of the home and something starts to bark at him. The thing continues to taunt him. Then things grow even more active. But as to what is making that noise, it never becomes clear. While a lot of this video is mysterious, this cut makes me skeptical. Clearly, there was a cut in the video there, so I assume whatever form was beneath the blanket could escape. 
Still, I really enjoy the disturbing atmosphere of this investigation. A YouTuber named Adam Edwards is making a Disneyland vlog when suddenly something sinister decides to make an unwanted guest appearance behind him. Hey guys, so today we're in Disneyland and um, I'm gonna look out the new ride. Two hands reach out for him from behind a red curtain with long gnarled fingers. Adam quickly turns the corner and finds nothing where the hands just were. He goes back around the corner and as soon as he starts talking, the hands return, yet when he checks again, nothing's there. I did notice that he never checks around the floor, so this could be a pre-planned prank. If that's the case, I'm guessing his friend was on the other side and they ducked down as soon as Adam went around the corner. Still, let me know if you recognize this part of Disneyland and if you've ever experienced anything similarly strange there. While investigating this haunted school, Moxley's paranormal world gets schooled by spirits. As Moxley explores this upper room, several unexplained sounds occur. You blow it on, pull any energies that are here, any spirits. Some do is in the door, man. Then one of the crew senses the front door moving. That door's moving, that door's moving. There's a fing door out there. Where? That door's moving. Oh, God, I'm going to go over there. Oh, shit, what's wrong? Oh, shit. They don't find anyone outside, but later things escalate as one crew member feels like she got smacked in the nose. That really hurt. Yeah. How are you? You're bleeding as well. What? What's happening? Yeah, you're, you're bleeding. I thought like my nose just got hit. No. Not hit hard, but a bit. Bleeding. Bleeding. Is the ghost of a mischievous pupil sticking around this haunted school? I think they might be, and they're certainly keeping the school spirit alive. Bright lights can play tricks on you, but this is not a trick. Published by Lane Ghost Hunter in August of 2011, this scary phantom was captured on camera in a driveway. The driveway is dark at first, nothing there. When the car turns on its headlights, the woman holding the camera gasps. That's because she sees this creepy, semi-transparent figure appear against the wall for a moment. After shaking in fear, the camera steadies, and the figure is gone. Do you see it, or is it just a figment of our collective imaginations? A YouTuber named Frosty Flakes is searching for elk in the woods of Imnaha, Oregon. Oregon, when his elk whistle attracts a pack of hungry wolves. Soon they find themselves surrounded and have to step carefully. They are way outnumbered and the wolves sound very close by, ferocious and closing in fast. The wolves are exactly on opposite sides of us. Every time they stop to gain a sense of direction, they can hear the wolves combing through the area where they just were. And I think this is where the pack decides not to pursue any further and lets them off with a warning howl. They sound close enough to charge the entire time, yet hidden so well in their surroundings that you would never know where to even look until it was already too late. This next video is very difficult to watch, but important to see. Blake Cotney has recently lost his brother Cody, and he feels he can no longer deal with the situation on his own. On top of that, he also recently broke up with his girlfriend after a serious relationship. His eight and a half minute video starts off pretty normal, and it sounds like he is just letting off some steam, until you realize that these are the last words of a man who decided to take his own life. Pay attention to what he says, because if you hear anyone else say something like this around you, then maybe you can get them help. He says that he doesn't want to feel anything anymore, which is a major red flag. <laughs> I don't want to feel like this anymore.
If you know anyone who strongly and overwhelmingly feels that their life has no purpose or direction for long periods of time without changing their minds, I'm not doing anything with my life. It could be another sign. Watching him say goodbye to his family makes this video incredibly saddening. But at the same time, his family posted this online in hopes that it will save someone else's child from saying these terrible words. Mom, <laughs> I just want to tell you I love you. If someone you care about is feeling this way, don't wait to talk to them about it and get them help. Ask them questions and let them know that they are not alone. It could make all the difference. And if you are feeling the same way as Blake did, then please know there is help available. I suggest Befrienders.org because they are a nonprofit who offer worldwide resources. In 2010, a mysterious creature sighting was caught on a GoPro camera in Ontario at Algonquin Park. A large shadowy figure unsuccessfully attempts to conceal itself amongst the scenery. Too tall to be a shrub and too wide to be a human. There's always the possibility that this is a mannequin and that the video is fake. But if not, then what could this strange roadside creature sighting along the woods possibly be? It's every thrill seeker's worst nightmare. Published by Robbie8984 in January of 2012, this pair was strapped into an amusement park ride in Alton, Illinois, ready for the thrill of their lives when the belt snapped on one of their seats. As the ride takes off, the woman starts to panic when she sees her harness come unstrapped. Luckily, the harness doesn't seem to be necessary as the primary lock keeps her securely in place. Many in the comments say these belts are just fail-safe to give riders a sense of security. Either way, imagine seeing your sense of security come undone in the middle of being tossed through the air by a roller coaster. History comes to life at this old stone church, and so do the spirits. Raudak's paranormal investigation calls this one of the best records of paranormal activity in a century-old stone church in the north-central part of the state of Rio de Janeiro. Soon enough, they come to the old stone church, but before they even arrive at the stone church, they spot something in the darkness. Their cameras don't capture what it is they're seeing. Soon enough, they come to the old stone church. Its creepy facade is enough to send you on your way. Inside, they find overgrowth, vines dangling, some seemingly suspended mid-air. Later, they stand before a small crucifix in a stone room. They speak to the spirits through a spirit box here. One says that she's listening to them and that she is suffering, but the creepiest part is yet to come. As the cameraman stands far off, he captures a shadow figure shifting past the crew in the crucifix room. Is this the spirit they were speaking to, or do they have multiple entities surrounding them? After setting up a still camera and a spirit box in this haunted apartment's kitchen, other side research captured something unsettling. Watch the left side of the screen. Was that a shadow figure? Let's see it again. Here you can clearly see something captured in the top left of the screen. It appears just after the spear box seems to say the word demon. After going over this piece of footage multiple times, none of us can decide what this may have been. It doesn't look like the usual suspect, an insect, but could it be someone off screen? Casting this shadow? Without seeing what's going on behind the scenes, I'm hesitant to decide on this one. YouTube channel Dayton Haunted Explorers dive into the Fairfield County Infirmary and the amount of activity they get is intense. After setting a camera up in the infirmary, they capture a series of unexplained sounds. They capture even more activity in the attic. Was 
later, even more EVPs are captured. Then, as they attempt to communicate with the spirits, the windows start to rattle. One of the crew enters this room, and she captures a blurry figure on camera. After feeling like she was grabbed a couple times, the crew packs it up to leave, but the spirits aren't done yet. Were the spirits trying to get them? They may not have succeeded this time, but I'm guessing they'll have better luck with the people who enter this haunted place next. This TikToker has documented her neighbor harassing her for months. The following clips are evidence of the terrifying stalking posted to TikTok by Maddie Panic. Maddie writes that she lives alone, and she's reported this neighbor several times. In the first video, you can see her neighbor through her peephole, waiting outside her apartment door. The video shows a man wearing a hooded sweatshirt, getting very close to the door as though he's listening in. The man's mouth is moving, but what he's saying is inaudible. He quietly knocks on the door. After no one answers, the man backs up and waits there. Later, Maddie captures what we can assume is the same man trying her doorknob. You can see the knob shaking, but the door is locked. Maddie looks out the peephole again, and you can only see the top of the man's head, like he's down low, trying to hide from view, or maybe even trying to use tools to get in. You can vaguely hear him say he knows that she's here. Well, this video is scary enough. A second video turns our fear up a notch. The man apparently lives next door to Maddie, and he tried to smash a hole right through her wall. She captures the damage on video and reassures viewers that cops are on the way. Maddie turned this TikTok account into pure documentation of this stalker's behavior. Her latest video shows she is safe and now in a new apartment. Maddie's advice to other individuals who find themselves in a similar situation is to document every and protect themselves. This was truly one creepy neighbor. YouTube team Greg and Heather's Explorations returns to the Townsend Cemetery, where they once held hands with a spirit. Will he hold their hand again? They begin with an EVP session. Give me a sneak peek at her EVP I session. My oh my god. Do you remember this last time? <laughs> As they're examining the grave of a Confederate soldier, they hear a distant sound. It was like a Confederate soldier. Something. He was a, a, a high up in the ranks. But what is that noise? You hear that? What is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 They then discover what that sound is. What is that? The water zone. Wait. Whoa. That Wait was not just someone. No. Oh my. Is this You've been saying that you felt like somebody was over yes. here messing with you. Is someone pranking them? And is the prankster living or a spirit? When they turn their ghost tube app on, they see figures all over the place. Hello. Oh. Oh wow. Look right there. Right in front of you. Wow. Hi. We see you. Was that you that just set this meter off? And later, they try to convince the spirit to hold hands again, this time with Patty. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Can you do that again? Yep, he's right next to you, to the left of you, yeah. Can you reach out and touch her hand? Like you, 
but the spirit is reluctant. Heather believes the spirit is a child since it's down low. I tend to agree. That might also suggest its hesitancy to reach out, and it might explain the trickery with the faucet being turned on. This child ghost is playing games. If you like to scrounge for snacks at night, this video will have you second guessing that midnight snack posted to Reddit by Better Than Better. The home security footage reveals a dark and seemingly empty kitchen at night. Around 30 seconds in, a man trudges in and opens the fridge to get a snack. While the man is standing at the fridge, drinking something, watch the teddy bear on the kitchen table. It starts moving ever so slightly, bobbing up and down, but that's not all. When the man closes the fridge and turns to leave, the baby walker next to the table does this, confused about whether he saw what he thinks he saw. The man doesn't take his eyes off the baby walker as he leaves the room, but he returns a short time later, his wife by his side, presumably to explain what happened. As he's indicating that the baby walker moved of its own accord, the teddy bear falls over, or rather seems to fly backwards. As the wife jumps out of the room and the man approaches the bear, two of the chairs tucked under the table spring out simultaneously. If that isn't enough to scare you out of your own home, I don't know what is. I believe dealing with an incident like this is something 99% of people couldn't handle. When your child is communicating with ghosts, you should listen. Posted to TikTok by PG Stories, this toddler seems to be communicating with the other side. The boy says goodnight to someone in the bathroom. When his mom goes to check it out, there's no one there. Who are you saying goodnight to? Who? Hey, goodnight. Jagger, there's no one up there. Who's up there? Show me. Who's up there? He seems to be pointing to the vent. Is someone hiding up there? Is there a phantom in the vent? Or is it just the kid's wild imagination? I feel like this video left us with more questions than answers. If you didn't like going to school, this video will validate your feelings. Posted to YouTube by Alan Ubig in June of 2018, the uploader writes, The ghost of the Victoria School Lagoon was captured on CCTV yesterday at 9 a.m. A man is sweeping the floor, minding his own business, when about 10 feet away, two items which look like standing dustpans glide across the room, moving from one side of the path to the other. No one else is around. The strange thing is that the man cleaning just watches this happen, but doesn't react whatsoever. Maybe he's all too familiar with the Victoria School ghost. Who or what is playing here? Is it something that can be explained? Or is this school undoubtedly haunted? Another poltergeist is haunting an abandoned church, and this one isn't so playful. Published to YouTube in July of 2021, this abandoned church has some supernatural visitors. Inside the church, amongst the whistling in the wilderness, something thuds nearby. The boys hold still, trying to listen for more unexplained noises. Moments later, they are standing there, casting light on the wall, when a distant, low-pitched moan is heard in the background. Well, in what looks like a basement space with lots of old items stored, a blast of sound is heard in the next room. Wait, ¿qué pedo? Ven. Wait, ven. Soy yo acá, soy yo allá. Soy yo allá, güey. Something heavy and out of sight was thrown on the ground. As the boys attempt to speak to the spirit, another strange moan sounds faintly. Yeah. And then a couple of shelf doors are slammed shut with great force. In another area of the haunted church, several small successive thuds are followed by a strange double beep. They quickly get away from that space. 
Later, when peeking around a corner, a cabinet door slowly closes. Whatever is closed isn't caught on camera. Not long after, a big heavy door slowly opens before being jarringly half shut. They approach the door. There is nothing on the other side. As the scary video wraps up, one of the crew is taking in a dark room when they hear a faint noise in the darkness. Como lo hicimos en aquella ocasión que entramos a este. They look over, shining a light there but find nothing. What is following them through this church? Perhaps a demon that couldn't be redeemed? JP Videos is exploring a seemingly haunted abandoned house. When he gets some really scary stuff caught on tape, the place has fallen into a state of disrepair and it only gets creepier when they find rotten steps leading into the basement. Alright, let's go down the uh, creepy spiral staircase. The mattresses look to be cleaner and newer than anything else down here. Creepy mattresses down here. It's like a partially finished basement, but it's random mattresses laying around. And the blinds are pulled closed like somebody has been sleeping here recently. Hopefully there are no strangers down here because a surprise encounter would probably not be pleasant. The basement stretches across many different rooms. JP is getting all of the hidden rooms on camera when some really scary stuff is caught on tape. These are my favorite type of explorers too, just abandoned houses, you know, seeing contents from the former owners and just trying to imagine what took place here. A lone crib on display in the center of the room gives him a nauseous feeling. But this, uh, okay, little creepy. Fastened around the top is a plank of wood with other pieces of scrap wood laying nearby. When tied over the top with a rope, this crib becomes more like a cage that is too small for even a toddler to stand in. Multiple mattresses in the corner create the impression that this building has been overtaken by numerous squatters. I seriously hope no one was left to fend for themselves in that crib. No food or water, hopelessly and cruelly trapped under these two boards. While planting trees, a YouTube channel called Homesteading Off The Grid accidentally records the eerie cries of something shrieking deep in the forest. If you know what kind of animal this is, let me know. Because many people claim this sounds like some kind of mix between a human and an animal. Did you hear like that? screaming at me, yeah. Oh wow. They don't hear anything for another six minutes and decide to stop recording. If this was a person, it sounds like they were in serious need of help. Nevertheless, that shriek is enough to give anyone chills. It's 6 in the morning, and a YouTuber named Sheezy is about to go home after a long shift at the hospital. All he needs to do is return this one-ton x-ray machine and then clock out. Unfortunately for him, the elevator gets stuck on the fifth floor and suddenly drops to the first floor without warning. It happens so fast that the floor numbers don't even register until the very end, but it's not over yet. The elevator rushes from the ground floor to the fifth floor, ready to drop again, and if that x-ray machine slides back and pins him against the wall, it wouldn't matter if he's at a hospital or not, because it's going to flatten him in seconds. This time, he hits the emergency stop before he can drop again. After a minute and a half, engineers rush to get him out of there. Mick Jugger Nuggets is a famous YouTuber who comes home one day only to find evidence of a serious break-in. Some of his possessions are missing, things that he is sure were in his room earlier before. 
Somebody took the hard drive. Hard drive the what? All my behind the scenes. Somebody literally came into the house and must have taken this shit. I'm going to check the security camera. He argues with his father for a bit about the likelihood of someone breaking in, but the security video does not lie. Hold on, here it comes. Sure enough, some stranger cases the house by knocking on the door a few times, even going so far as trying the knob. Soon he uses a long tool to pry open a window and reaches inside to quickly scoop up a nearby hard drive before taking off. Oh my god, dude. Much to Mick Jugger Nugget's amazement, the window was right next to his bed. He soon comes to the sickening realization that this person, who was perhaps a stalker, literally reached into his room to retrieve a hard drive full of unedited video content. Who knows what this deranged fan will come back for next time. You might think you've got nerves of steel. This video was posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Pekonik. In the video, the likely US-based officer pulls over a driver at night, approaches the driver's side door with a flashlight to question him, but then never gets the chance. The dash cam footage shows what happens inside. A bright light bursts from the sky, causing the patrolman to stagger a little bit before he vanishes. Leaving a steaming clothes behind in a pile beside the vehicle, the car then speeds off either out of fear for what just happened or to flee the scene. Having been an active participant in the officer's vaporization, we're left to wonder which it is. The clip first appeared on the YouTube channel from Tim Beckers, who said, I downloaded the video and shared it with a couple of my friends in the community, and they all told me the same. This footage looks real and it could change everything we know. What do you think? Could this be real or a clever fake? Sav and Jack records what they claim is a genuine 3am paranormal encounter. Sav wakes up after a bad dream with a strange urge to check on Jack. She says she is feeling some weird energy when suddenly... Picking up on this weird energy... Her phone picks up an eerie entity that disappears upon being discovered. Watch this part and tell me if you think it's editing. It's a little suspicious how she centers the camera perfectly on the area where the ghost is to appear moments before it happens, so some people think it might not be real. Parents may especially have trouble watching this dash cam video from Toronto. This father with a baby stroller is about to have the scariest encounter a father could ever experience. He's getting his kid out from some snow when a thoughtless driver goes through a red light and almost takes them both out. The car has some flashing lights on the back, so it could have been an emergency and might explain why they were going so fast. Still, had he been pushing the baby stroller in front of him, this would have been a much different video. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. This is one for the books. Published by ABCD in April of 2009, this phantom was reportedly captured in Bangalore. The scary clip shows a semi-transparent woman emerging from a wall. With long dark hair and dressed in white, the apparition glides across the floor, traveling straight through all objects around her, including a gate, before disappearing out of frame. What do you think of this full-bodied apparition? I'm just gonna put it out there. It's one of the realest looking ghosts I've ever seen. This short clip was taken at an unidentified prison that is most likely abandoned. This is an actual creature coming out of the darkness, or are the shadows just playing tricks on you? I will say that there are signs of editing. The dust is swirling a lot faster than normal, which makes me believe that this footage was sped up. It could have been a normal person dressed in all black, quietly walking up and then backing away, which would look very paranormal when sped up like that. Maybe the video was sped up for some other reason and is in fact real. The Haunted Hub is a YouTube channel that posts full paranormal investigations taken throughout England. This time they find themselves in a Victorian hospital called Thackeray. 
where starvation beatings and other extreme punishments were the norm. As the night progresses, they find themselves communicating with the spirit of a nun. One member holds a cross in front of him and they all watch in amazement as orbs seem to follow wherever he goes. As Tony evokes a response holding a crucifix, look closely and observe. I usually don't think much of orbs because they could just be specks of dust, but I will admit that the timing of these orbs is often uncanny. The ladies here like to speak. We've got a cross in my hand. Does that offend you or does that make you happy? Come speak with us, please. It really looks like they can see the orbs too. Like during this part, for example. First you see the orb. Then moments later, the man on the left turns around and appears to see something too. Moments like this one happen throughout the video and makes me think all of this is real. They also pick up some really weird noises on their spirit box. This part sounds like something from another world trying to speak in human tongues. And tell me if this sounds like a spirit who is asking for help. This oddly colored sea creature in Pfeiffer Beach, California looks like a rock until you flip it over to reveal a soft underbelly. According to the uploader, this creature started to change shape to better fit into their hand. My best guess is some type of sea sponge, but I really don't think that's it. And a park ranger didn't know what it was either, but maybe you will. Please don't try this yourself, but apparently there's a part of the eye that can be touched without producing a stinging sensation. This person pulls down their eyelid and gives a sharp poke to the outside corner of their eye like it's no big deal. He presses down several times in a row without even watering up, which is certainly more than I can say for myself while watching this video. I don't even want to know how he figured out this bizarre trick or how many times he had to practice before getting it right. This surveillance footage was taken from the Helmut Carr College in South Africa. A strange mist appears in the far doorway and slowly morphs into the shape of a girl wearing a long dress. She casually walks into a nearby classroom, as if this was just another ordinary school day, except of course the room is empty and no one is in the building. Even though this is called Helmut Carr College, it's actually just a high school, and this phantom-like figure does appear to be around the same size as an average student. This makes me think it could possibly be real, though I guess they could have just edited this girl into the video if they really wanted to. Apparently, ghosts like peering out of windows because here's another creepy phantom showing up when you least expect him. This YouTuber captured this ghostly white figure staring out of the upper window of a nearby brick building. She posted the footage to YouTube in June of 2010, explaining that she took the video on her cell phone while playing on the green. She writes, We saw a face in the window of a locked room. Kieran, the manager, took us up to look afterwards, but there was nobody there and the room is out of use. Couldn't sleep after I took this. As mentioned, Demi was taking the video of some guys playing catch on the lawn when one of them spotted the figure in the upper window, alerting Demi to the terrifying watcher. She zooms in on the window to catch the pale face of a young boy in the lower left corner. The figure slowly moves out of view. The remainder of the video shows the group climbing the stairs to see who is watching them from the upper room. When they arrive there, it's empty and looks as though it has been for years. There's graffiti on the walls and it appears no one lives there. Many in the comments call the video unsettling, noting that's not how a person moves. Ghost or not, I wouldn't want to run into this boy anywhere, let alone in this room. Most ghosts don't ask for permission, they just let themselves in. Published in January of 2022, Amitav Paranormal Tech YT writes that during her last live stream, her REM pod activated, so she decided to leave some equipment on during the night. She also left her security cameras on. Here's what they captured. The door of the room swings 
open, apparently letting no one in. A light to the side on a table then turns on and blinking can be seen throughout the room. What just let itself in? Is it something to be feared? Either way, it definitely wants itself to be known. Horrifying surveillance camera footage shows someone getting chased by a much bigger, much scarier person who slings them over their shoulder and drops them into a getaway vehicle. Police are calling this a suspicious incident because it looks more like it could be their last moments on Earth. They are in total fear for their life, so I don't think this is a family dispute. It's something way scarier than that. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Angelina is with some friends, and they are exploring an abandoned house that was apparently the scene of some very horrible events. The house is certainly creepy, and as they explore, the video has a feeling of unease, almost like something could pop out at any second. But it's at the 9 minute and 32 second mark when Angelina's friend looks into a dark room that things get beyond strange. She sees something so creepy, it sends her leaving with a high pitched scream. Oh my god. Inside the room is basically a spider fortress, with webs covering almost every inch of the room. I feel bad for any future urban explorer who accidentally walks into that room, especially if you have a fear of spiders. This would be enough to scare you for life. Does this janitor have some ghostly helpers he isn't even aware of? Published by Alan Abueg in June of 2018. This security footage captured something unexpected. A janitor is seen sweeping up outside a school. As he works patiently, something is seen rolling up on its own behind him. A closer look shows that it's a pair of stand-up dustpans. They both slide toward the wall, filling in one after the other. The janitor doesn't even notice. If spirits are doing the dirty work, at least they seem helpful rather than malicious. Described by Redditor Yeezus underscore C as footage of something. I'm going to play you this video so you can see what that something is. Pulled from security footage, an office chair is captured spinning on its own, and toward the end of the clip, it makes a final turn. <laughs> Those in the comments have several theories. Well, I think it could be any one of these theories. I wouldn't rule out a passed away office worker with an axe to grind. I can picture a horror movie about it already. This CCTV ghost footage was taken inside a school in Warren, Michigan. A girl stops to put her hair in a bun, completely unaware of a possible paranormal presence floating directly across from her. Look at the water fountain and you'll see it the faint white outline of a person's head leaning in. As if to take a drink, it disappears for a moment, and then when the girl is busy checking out her reflection, it comes back again, this time bouncing back and forth in front of the fountain some more before vanishing for good. Some people are saying that this could just be dust, but I think it's interesting how it seems to hang around the spout of the water fountain for a long time. I can also kind of see the outline of a student's body when I look hard enough. Tell me if you can too. Ghost Hunter Emacs has some of the creepiest videos in the small but growing Japanese ghost hunter community. Videos with scary moments like this one that will haunt you for a long time. He's exploring an abandoned hospital when he senses something paranormal is near. A ghost in the same hallway. <laughs> It's just there one second at 10 minutes 16 seconds. 
and within two seconds it's being pushed back three feet into the closet. Did he really see a wheelchair move by itself while exploring a haunted hospital? Or did someone pull it from off camera? The video looks convincing but I guess we'll never know. This TikTok is beyond terrifying. Posted by Elkakoi.tv, you're about to meet Chucky's more disturbed sister. The clip shows what at first appears to be a little girl standing in a room, facing some pictures. The way she stands is a bit eerie, because it is so stiff, and soon you'll see why. Slowly she turns toward the camera. Her legs and feet do not bend or move. It is not a little girl at all, but the ghoul-faced doll from your nightmares. Dark hair, pale face, white dress, and dark rings around her eyes. She stares at the cameraman for a moment. He turns tail and races out of the house toward his truck, saying something's not right. Sounds like the understatement of the year. He gets in his truck and shuts the door, trying to calm himself. But that's when he catches a glimpse of something in the rearview mirror. Who should be in the back seat but the ghoul girl herself? The horror. There's nowhere to run or hide. She will find you. Okay guys, some weird stuff has been happening in my room and I feel like I need to document this. Safi B has a collection of haunted dolls that seem to have been moving on their own. She explains how no one can be going inside to move them because she keeps her door locked during the day and after she's finished, she hears this noise. Now, I haven't told you guys this but like lately I've been hearing my door rattle and it's like the movement is not coming from the door, but rather from somewhere deeper within the room, which she has clearly shown to be empty, except for her and her dolls. And soon she finds her answer. No. No, no. A solid black Ouija pointer falls off the shelf and lands. This man thought he'd get away with it, but he was sorely mistaken. Published by Rio Link in July of 2019, the suspect is seen crossing a quiet road at night in June of 2019 at around 3 in the morning. As the vehicle approaches, he hurries across the road and hides under the front end of a parked truck in a driveway. After the vehicle passes, the dude rolls from under the truck and puts his hood on. He then tries to enter the truck because the door is unlocked. But before he can snatch any valuables, the car alarm goes off, undoubtedly waking up the whole neighborhood. And the would-be burglar flees across the street. I think we can all agree this attempt failed miserably. YouTube team The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigation is spending the night at this place at Harmon Road. I can't say exactly what went on in this building, but let's just say men would pay to be with the women who worked there. Before long, one of their REM pods goes off. Oh, yeah, so it's been a Did you hear that? There's a REM pod. Did you hear it? I heard a thump. No, 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 that was me walking on this, but I heard the REM pod go off. They continue their search and meet an unwanted guest. Could you? Whoa. No, 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 no. Did you see that, dude? I did. I was a... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a bat. As they're trying to communicate through paranormal devices, they hear a sound in the building. Look at that. Look at that. Is that you? I'm not close enough. No. And it'd still be going off if that yeah. was me. A moment later, a bang is heard. But it's not necessarily that the words are making sense. Heard. Crash. I heard that, bro. Did you hear that? And then another. <gasps> I know you heard that, bro. In another hallway, they hear what sounds like talking. I heard some something. The spirit seems to want them to stay. Do you want us to stay? Whoa. Did you hear that? That was really nice. I swear to God, it sounded like something, something came right, like walked up. When they knock, the spirit knocks back. Can you make a noise like this? <gasps> Did you hear that? It was like almost immediate, yes. bro. It was like, gung gung. And then they hear this unnerving moan. <laughs> oh, 
What the? I heard a f before that. Did you hear the breath before that? I know you heard that, dude. It was like. <sighs> In another room, one of their paranormal devices goes off. Can you step away? See that one. They keep hearing these mysterious noises. What the? I heard a whistle, and yeah. then I heard something in there go like. Kum. That's exactly what I heard. It was the whistle part. And their devices continue to be triggered. Also got the. Ooh. Okay. Also got the SLS camera. Or sorry, the. I think there are too many creepy, unexplained noises in this building to suggest anything but paranormal activity. I also propose that this channel consider renaming this video to Did You Hear That Bro? Did you hear that bro? That was loud. A man in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania encounters what he calls a zombie sighting when he sees a stationary figure stare at him without moving. Not even loud music or oncoming headlights are enough to make him step aside or respond. I'm pretty sure that this person has a major problem that they need to get help for, but this would still be beyond creepy to see late at night, especially considering the next driver might not be paying enough attention to swerve out of the way. A very sad situation indeed. Gavin Free and Meg Turney are a married couple who have experienced a lot of success on YouTube, most notably with a channel called The Slow Mo Guys. Among their millions of subscribers, however, was one fan who somehow developed an insane obsession with Meg Turney in particular. His name was Christopher Giles, a man who wrote hundreds of personal notes to himself about the married couple most of which revolved around taking out Gavin, who he saw as direct competition to Meg. One day, he can no longer contain his rage and drives a full 11 hours to their house to get even. He breaks in and searches for them for a long time, but Gavin and Meg manage to successfully hide in the closet and call the police. Apparently, Christopher fires randomly throughout the house for a long time before giving up and leaving, at which point he makes contact with the police at the front door. Christopher Giles passes away during this confrontation. I'm just glad the police were able to arrive in time, because I have little doubt that he would have come back later to do the same thing. Full respect goes to YouTuber Rex Travolta for somehow obtaining this cry out loud creepy CCTV footage of a haunted driving school in Puchong. A man goes into the building late at night to wait for his girlfriend for a late night meetup. Little does he know tonight's date is about to get cancelled for paranormal reasons. The computer monitor somehow turns on at the same time, and when he checks the wiring underneath, the screens briefly flash in unison. He runs out of there scared out of his mind, and that's when a ghost decides its work is done, as it shuts the door and pulls up a chair. The video looks paranormal at first, but I think it could be really good stop motion photography that you don't notice because the camera's been skipping frames the whole time. And as for the monitors, maybe the computers were already on and had some kind of screensaver on a timer to make it look like they went on at once. The Adventures of Hamad Salhai has the keys to an apartment that is slowly being taken over by a powerful djinn. Once inside, he begins a ceremony with candles. I don't know if this is a summoning or a cleansing ritual, but I do know that what happens as a result is beyond creepy. First of all, the flame from the candle remains completely horizontal and still. Then his flashlight flickers with paranormal energy and the ceremony kicks into full swing. A door closes by itself, and when he opens the door back up, the ghost avoids a confrontation again. Bismillah. 
he relights the candle and goes inside the room to see what the ghost is trying to hide. These pictures adorn the walls, perhaps victims of the person whose ghost now haunts this apartment building. Or maybe just family members. He is pondering something out loud that I bet would give us more information about this room, so please translate if you can. A shadow figure in the corner makes him drop his only source of light, and now he is left in the darkness in the same room as the terrifying phantom figure. He runs out of the room fast and grabs a flashlight, no longer worried about using the ceremonial candles at the moment, but it won't let him leave so he picks up the candles once more. <laughs> This is what finally freaks him out. I think a ghost touches his shoulder, but help me translate to better understand. A light at the far end of a room is swinging by itself, when all of the other lights are as still as can be. Now before you tell me that it's under a vent, let me show you the same room from a different angle. Look all the way to the ceiling where the fluorescent light is grounded. No vents anywhere. So what's the deal here? Am I missing something major? Or is this light swinging on its own momentum when there's nothing to make it move? Dennis from YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal is tracking some ghosts in an abandoned house and it quickly goes sideways. Something is banging in this hallway. He gets closer to the refrigerator. Is something inside? More sounds throw Dennis off track. What was that? A second steady cam may have captured what was causing this noise from another angle. Did you see that? Watch again closely. A shadow figure flees down the hallway. To me, it seems more like it escaped the fridge and moved off to make noise elsewhere. Where did it go, though? Better not follow. I think Dennis is not safe here. Shimeo, New Mexico is where you'll find the famous ghost garage. A paranormal hotspot along the highway where a ghost or two just might climb into your car. This person thinks they have a real paranormal video of a spirit caught on tape in this video. I kind of see what he's talking about but you really must pay attention or you'll miss both of these two ghost sightings. Do you see their faces? I think I might. Then again, I would like to see the original video without the filter. Only then will we know what these bizarre figures truly are. A YouTuber named LaxRebel225 is playing a video game at home when he hears something loudly bust through the front door. He's frantically looking from room to room when finally he hears it making a racket again, this time from the kitchen. When he crosses into the kitchen, nothing is to be found. Instead, he hears it again from behind. I'm not sure why he stomps his foot here. If he's trying to scare the creature away, it doesn't work. Lax Rebel does a full circle around his home and ends up standing just outside of the kitchen again. He seems to get a bad feeling and hesitates. That's when this inhuman noise fills his house. <laughs> Then 
The creature seems to say something in a chittering language that almost sounds like an evil laugh. Then it leaves his home, shutting the door behind itself. Maybe I'm just overthinking, but the alien's voice sounds very high quality, like way too good for the average YouTuber to edit into their video with home equipment. As much as I don't want to admit it, I think this video could be real based on the creepy laughter alone. Still, I'd definitely like to know what you think after watching this video. I'm especially looking for the opinions of people who have experience with audio engineering. <laughs> This video seems like just an image of a gator at the start, with its jaw wide open, staring blankly, completely motionless. But it's not a photo. That becomes clear when the camera zooms in closer to the gator's eye, and it starts backing up angrily, its jaw even wider. Then it goes berserk in the tunnel, clamoring towards the camera. Until the camera pulls away, the gator then approaches slowly, biting on a cord. After backing away again, the camera approaches the wide mouth, sharp tooth creature once more. The eyes, the scales, the teeth. There's nothing about this that isn't chilling to the core. But what is a camera doing up close and personal down in a sewer anyway? Mike Kruger in the comments section of this video seems pretty knowledgeable on the subject. He wrote that the camera was doing a condition assessment of the storm sewer. He noted that behind the alligator, you can see the swamp. The tired gator simply clambered into the pipe to have a sewer nap, that is, until his nap was so rudely interrupted. A little girl named Taylor, seven years old, runs up to the doorbell cam after school, not out of excitement but rather sheer fear. You can tell by the fear in her voice and the crease in her brow that Taylor is not making this up. Unfortunately, the neighbor is not home yet and Taylor has to wait a stressful minute until the car pulls up, worried she's going to encounter this wild cat the whole time. The car pulls up just before she really starts to cry. I'm really glad she's alright, but I worry the bobcat will return one day. If it's still lurking in the area, this family is living with paranormal activity and this short clip shared by YouTube channel Paranormal Encounter Shorts is just a taste of what they're experiencing. Listen closely. What? Uh, uh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, no, no, stop. I... Stop. Okay, let me get to Stop. That. Really? Oh my god. One of the crew thinks he knows what it is. It's silverware. All right, my my what? my heart just jumped in my chest. What? What? Just wait a second. Are you recording right now? Yeah. I am. Did you get that? Yeah. Was it silverware? And if it was, who is clattering it? What? Uh, uh. <laughs> what? Uh, uh. Whoever is banging around this haunted home sounds dreadfully impatient to me. I think it might be time to get this home blessed. A reminder that you never know what or who is behind you. This short clip will have you looking over your shoulder. The video shows a man entering a small elevator. A ghostly woman enters slightly behind him. You can see her in the mirror, distracted on his phone. The man doesn't seem to notice he has company, but when he turns around, the woman has vanished. He is alone in the lift, or at least appears to be. Those in the comments are dying to know where the phantom stalker went and whether or not this man made it out of the elevator. I hope he's alright, but it's really not looking like that's the case. Randy films his cat taking a midday snooze when something creepy moves overhead. I would say this is just a particle of dust except the cat sees it too and bolts upstairs like it's one of the scariest moments it's ever had in all of its nine lives. Something makes the cat open its eyes. It senses something is wrong. Then an apparent ghost orb floats by and suddenly the cat no longer wants to be in the same room anymore. Skeptics, I'm sure will be quick to point out that the cat could have been startled by the camera. That's a good point except cats usually don't run in fear from their owner. 
This cat seems to have felt the presence of something, a feline sixth sense of sorts, and it doesn't stick around. Humans aren't the only beings with the apparent ability to teleport. Published by The Buzz in January of 2015, this mysterious video appears to show a canine teleportation. The video, filmed during a street race on an empty motorway in Chile, shows a dog suddenly materializing out of nowhere. In the clip, two cars speed down the track as the camera swings after them. Following the race, a dog suddenly appears in their wake, crossing the road. In slow motion, the dog appears out of thin air in the middle of the road, somehow avoiding the two cars, neither of which budge at all in their straight shot down the track. Did this dog teleport here as many in the comments seem to believe? Whether or not he did, I think Pog Squatch sums up our sentiment. Scotty needs to be more careful when he beams you down. That was too close for comfort. A Saudi Arabian ghost hunter known only as Hai claims to have caught a real gin on camera while exploring an abandoned house that he knows is haunted. I can't tell if this is a gap in the curtains or a ghost in the window. He presses onwards and reaches the second floor before things get beyond creepy. Something paranormal is making movements. Bismillah. Since staying one step ahead of the paranormal explorer at all times. Bismillah, Bismillah, الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء. The excited ghost hunter runs from room to room trying to keep up, praying for strength all the while. <laughs> as the ghost apparently runs into a tall cabinet, I can't help but wonder if it's just as afraid as he is. Bismillah! <laughs> Cornered and with nowhere to go, the spirit finally has to rely on its supernatural defenses to get out of there quickly. Scary noises are heard all around, doors shutting, cabinets opening, and soon a strange and bizarre paranormal mist floods the room. It's hard to say if this was real paranormal activity or dust kicked up from him throwing objects everywhere, but I think it's probably real and most certainly is creepy. A crumbling cemetery in New Orleans is crawling with restless residents. If this scary sighting is to be believed, at 18 seconds a stone slab lays on the ground as if recently removed. 20 seconds later this mysterious figure, to use their exact words, is caught on video walking between some tombstones. This could simply be one of their friends, but if not, then seeing a random person while exploring an abandoned cemetery is really bizarre and also more than a little creepy. They are unable to get the figure on video again and so they leave. In 2010, a man from South Jersey named Nick mysteriously went missing. His older brother Mark vanished shortly thereafter. Their small town was devastated by these back-to-back -back disappearances and feared the worst. There wasn't a shred of evidence for police to go off of, at least not until a few months later when one of Nick's high school acquaintances receives this mysterious post office package. Inside the package are memory cards and hard drives with hundreds of videos to analyze. Eerily enough, the return address was Nick's house, so either Nick sent this himself or someone else mailed it on his behalf well after his disappearance. Perhaps it was sent by whoever was responsible. 
A lot of the videos are typical teenage vlogging material you'd expect from 2010. Basic stuff like making a sandwich or watching TV. But on the other hand, there are at least 30 videos containing super creepy information relevant to his whereabouts, or should I say his possible remains. Let's retrace Nick's steps. On September 3, 2010, Nick goes to the notoriously haunted Pleasant Mill Cemetery in Batstow, Jersey to see what he can find. On the other side of an old bridge in the woods, he sees some 1800 burial markers and an old church that makes him feel creeped out. Though whatever he thinks he sees while standing on this bridge is what freaks him out the most. This is where voices are said to sometimes be heard on the water. Tell me if you see anything. I honestly can't say I see anything strange, but maybe something was there that didn't show up on camera. The video ends with him running back to his car looking very serious and scared, wide eyes and all, so he probably really did see something strange. He never wants to go back there again, but at some times the experience eats away at him until a week later on September 10th when he goes back to settle his curiosity once and for all, this time with his friend Austin. Night has fallen by the time they arrive. There's not much activity by the old church, so they walk over to the river. They don't hear anything and aren't really that scared, so they challenge each other to sit in the darkness under the bridge, the very same bridge where Nick first saw something, mind you. And as soon as their lights go out, they make contact. You hear that? When they turn their lights on to see what's out there, they see this broad goblin-like face looking back at them, soon followed by a splash of water, like something jumping at them, or else reaching up from the depths below. Away they run and away it follows. I don't know what this thing is, but since they've disturbed its home twice now, it decides to return the favor. What you're about to witness happened on the very same night. Nick sees movement behind this curtain wall and thinks it has to be his older brother Mark. It certainly looks like someone's hands, and yet no one's there. Suddenly it grows very cold where he's standing, cold enough to see his own breath, which is odd considering it isn't cold enough to see his breath when he's outside looking for Mark. They really should have stopped going there, but on September 18th they try again. This time after following these strange lights in the woods, they discover something they were never meant to have. This nondescript book has no title, but I want to know more about this strange binding. It looks like part of a protective ritual, or maybe even a curse upon whoever opens it without permission. Nick grabs it and they go get something to eat, and that's subsequently when they start getting followed even worse than ever before. By now, Nick and Austin have developed somewhat of an unhealthy obsession with the Pleasant Mill Cemetery. It scares them, but it also attracts them and they can't stop going. Maybe something there is enticing them to return. <sighs> something that wants its book back, and the more times they visit, the stronger its presence becomes at home. What? Tired of this. Wait. What the? When you look at the picture before it falls at 10 minutes and 28 seconds, I think it's a picture of Mark, the older brother who would soon disappear. On September 27th, Nick and Austin make a discovery that they seem to shrug off but I think is important. It's inside of an old house that they find not too far from the cemetery. The outside looks like it went ablaze a long time ago. Through a square hole in the floor, they spy an area that looks like it could have been a secret chamber when covered. They get a really bad feeling and don't want to go down, but Austin makes a simple observation that I think speaks volumes. Oh, it's 
smells. All right, we're wasting time. We got to go. It could be mold, or it could be a body that hasn't been disturbed in quite some time. Things get really crazy after they discover the possible body. By November 2nd, Mark is gone and nobody knows where he went. Nick goes back to the cemetery to look for his brother, and this final recording is what he finds. A tall figure with an all-white face marches toward him, with a long tool in his hand. All I will say is that it looks like Nick sadly met the same fate as his brother. A father points a camera at his daughter's closet because she is afraid of something in her room. He was probably expecting for it to be nothing, but instead what he's caught on camera after midnight has left him shaken up as she is. She wakes up to a noise, a noise from the closet, and then a basketball falls out, half deflated like something had squeezed all the air out. You can clearly see the full closet, and it's not big enough for anyone to hide inside. If this wasn't paranormal, then I'm not sure how it was set up. After experiencing loads of paranormal activity in their home, Redditor as Crumner's son set up a camera to record through the night, and they finally caught something. A strange pillow creature moves rather clumsily near the son's bed at night. Right here. Okay, whoop. Uh, rewind it. Bring that back. And you then see, can it just we whoops right up. Ready? Watch right here. Watch right here. Whoa. So That's there already I am. creepy. Yeah, so there I am. That's right already there. creepy. Right there. And then it leaves as mysteriously as it came. Uh, ready? And then it just goes like. It yeets ready? back out of existence. There's my head right there. You can see me moving. And as soon as I move. Yeets back And do you see how as soon down. as I moved? As soon as I moved. Looks like it's leaning in towards you. Unless that's not Jesus. a blanket. What is that? Like, is it's this? skin? It's hard to tell on the recording what the figure might be. I personally think it looks like a pillow or a blanket, but its behavior is odd to me. Of course, Reddit has fun with this one. I'm not 100% sold on the figure being a skinwalker, as I think there's a chance it could be either a leg or someone under the duvet, and if someone's creeping through the house dressed in blankets, then these guys have got more than paranormal problems to worry about. If there was a soundtrack to your nightmares, it would probably sound like this. Posted to TikTok by Hannah Hallett, she writes simply, Um, help? You'd be seeking help too if this Yankee Doodle was blaring outside your window in the darkness of night. Hannah captures what looks like an ice cream truck making a U-turn on her road in the darkness. Well, that's a little odd considering the time of day, but not overly scary. The fact that the truck's haunting children's music is blaring from its speakers, even as darkness envelopes the night, is absolutely terrifying. Who is this ice cream man trying to attract? Imagine this nightmare fuel filtering into your subconscious as you fall off to sleep. Pretty sure nightmares would be a guarantee. Russian YouTuber Eugene from Dark Mystic captured something in his home. Let's take a look. First, it shows up in the darkened window behind him. Uh, 
Вопрос говорит, поднимается воздух. Did you see the figure moving in the window? Then while inside he hears something. Nobody answers. Later, as he's capturing video under a crawl space, another disturbance is heard. Then, in the shed, he sees two glowing eyes. The eyes disappear. Do they belong to whatever phantom is causing such mayhem in his home? Or was all that racket caused by a cat or other animal? But then again, what about the figure in the window? I think Eugene should look into this further to find out what exactly he's dealing with. Just like lights. Some sort of paranormal activity. This gym could be haunted according to Coach Megan, who is making a video of her backhand spring when she sees what she describes as a little blue light on the speaker, almost like a camera flash except she is by herself, so nobody could have taken it. Two seconds later, a floating white anomaly travels towards her in the mirror and then mysteriously disappears, only to resurface two seconds afterwards as a strange white light streaking down from behind. After reviewing the evidence, I honestly can't tell if this scary moment is a camera glitch, edited, or truly paranormal. But since the video is pretty good quality, I think it's probably more likely real than not. Anything that's gonna scare you is just like lights. Some sort of paranormal activity. Are we being possessed by shadowy forces without even knowing it? Posted on Blah Blah's channel in January of 2022, this scary video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. The footage shows a woman walking a dirt path along a hillside overlooking a city. She is carrying a bag and she's alone. As the cameraman follows a short way behind, a mysterious and barely visible dark figure comes toward the woman on the path. The shadow figure runs right at the woman, but she doesn't notice it and continues on her way. Did the spirit possess her? Well, this captured our imaginations. As it turns out, after doing some research, I found the video is VFX produced by YouTuber Dark3. Still, the image will prompt you to look over your shoulder the next time you think you're alone. You never know what's behind you until it's too late. This was submitted to the Chills narrator subreddit by Skateboard Chris. The Redditor wrote, I accidentally deleted the raw video and not the TikTok that automatically saved, but this is the second time I've caught a light switch turning off and on by itself. My dog reacts too, and when the video zooms in, it does appear that the light switches turn on and off of their own accord. Hawaii Sunburnt 20 commented, I would be taking apart that light switch. Would you be curious enough to do the same? I'd be getting far away from this haunted house. Two friends are walking down the street completely unaware of a scary paranormal encounter waiting to unfold at random. Right here, look at it. Look at it, look at it, it's following them. Look at it, look at it. A strange black mist slowly descends out of nowhere. I do find the timing to be an eerie coincidence and agree this could be paranormal. With that said, the friend on the right seems to sense an apparition more than he sees it. He doesn't necessarily look terrified, but he does bring his hand up to his chin as if he is uncertain of something nearby. The other friend does not appear to see anything at all. If this was a ghost, then maybe the camera was recording something that neither one of them could fully perceive. Then again, this looks like it could be an out-of-focus insect walking along the camera lens. Let me know which possibility you think is the real answer. The power goes out and a man must go into the basement to find the circuit breaker. There's only one problem. This is where I hear the boning at night. 
Once he gets downstairs, his beam is swallowed in the darkness, and while fumbling around, he barely catches a glimpse of a pale face down there with him. And by the time he gets the flashlight to work again, it's already too late. Whatever this is a face of, ghost or otherwise, I doubt it's a mask because at 50 seconds you can see its mouth open and its smile fade away as it lunges forward. It doesn't grab him and he is able to get away so if this is real, then it could be one of the highest resolution ghost sightings ever caught on camera to date. A girl stacks cups while her siblings watch, but apparently something else is watching too as a little doll rises up for a closer look. The way it sits up looks like somebody has to be hiding behind the television, but it doesn't look like there's enough space for anybody to comfortably fit behind. Not even a child. Maybe they ran something through the back of the cabinet to make the doll sit up. If that's not the case, then I think it's probably time to board up that room and sell the house. Freddy44 is a YouTuber with a terrible problem. I can feel it moving around. Spray this in yourself. No, you're doing good, dude. But I don't, but I can't get it because you're moving. Ah! Something has climbed inside of his ear and won't get out. They pick at it for a while, but only succeed in removing small bits and pieces. Not even the emergency room can get rid of it. After a two hour procedure, Two full days later, Freddy is finally able to see a specialist and find out what's been so deeply lodged in his ear canal. It's all the way in there. There it is. Got it. Do I see it next to his face? Oh my lord. Here goes. Okay, here's, I some, go here's some perspective. <laughs> This is the June bug that had managed to become trapped in Freddy's ear. Believe it or not, they had to remove the giant bug in two separate sections. So what you are seeing here is roughly half of its true size. When four teens disappeared in August of 2008 in Melbourne, Australia, a local search party discovered this found footage in November of the same year, near an abandoned hospital. Shortly after, it apparently began making rounds on Australian news outlets. At the start of the video, the boys appear to be cruising down a highway then further down a dirt road. At one point, they exit the vehicle and they think they hear a sound coming from the darkness. In that area, they saw sounds coming. They approach a gate with a sign that says private property, no trespassing. They ignore it. They find a hole in the fence and decide to enter anyway. As they're walking along in the dark, they come across a red substance splattered on the ground. Regardless, they continue on, and that's where the footage ends. A walk into the darkness. They were never seen or heard from again. If you have any info on their whereabouts, please visit missingpersons.gov.au. Adrian is eating dinner at home when a creepy hand with long slender fingers reaches up to his window. The video stops right before the creature pulls the curtain to reveal itself to the unsuspecting family. Before the monster reaches its hand out, you can kind of see that its silhouette is about the size of a normal person. So while this TikTok video is creepy, I doubt it's real. A YouTuber named Jessie V and her sister Mandy are constantly hearing strange noises coming from the attic. They would have happily never gone up there if not for their insistent fans who demanded to know the answer. They finally work up enough courage to take a ladder up there. Mandy goes up first and gets a really bad feeling. She's describing the general layout when they catch something that might have followed her back down. In a mirror on the wall is the reflection of a figure that is a quarter of the size of Mandy, whose much larger reflection can be seen right beside it. Whatever this is, it's standing right in front of both of them. Jessie turns the camera to reveal her father standing off to the side, but he is way too tall to be it. Also, this figure lacks any color or detail at all. Only later, when a commenter pointed out the creepy shadow person, did they go back and review the video. No answer was ever provided. YouTuber Ali H lives in a haunted house. After his dogs woke him in the middle of the night, he was confronted, but not by his dogs, by the demon itself. Watch the security camera footage here.
Ali says there was a knocking noise which disturbed his dogs. That's why they woke him up for comfort. He got up to check things out, and when he did, something sinister happened. After having his neck squeezed and then thrown to the floor, Ali somehow went back to bed. Although this would definitely not be my reaction to being choked by an unseen force, I do believe Ali's story. Watch again at how he was lifted off the floor by the demon. Maybe Ali is just so used to dealing with the haunted happenings in his home, he's become indifferent to them. I think this is getting dangerous for him though. He should take everyone's advice in the comments and move from this haunted place before it's too late. Stephanie Jenkins is filming her child at the bottom of some steps when suddenly she goes from smiling to startled. <laughs> Whoa. The child definitely looks like she saw something, but she takes a few steps into the next room and then quickly forgets about it. Some people have noticed what appears to be an orb float overhead, while well, some people think that this is a speck of dust or something similar. Others think it could be a long-lost relative paying their respects to the next generation of kin. This figure appears out of nowhere and then disappears just the same way. Shared on TikTok, watch this mysterious vanishing act. It does appear that the figure is only suddenly visible when the light flashes on them. And after it trapezes across the roadside for a moment, it vanishes into nothing. Yeah. Yeah. While it could just be a poor quality camera, the way the figure pixelates and disperses is utterly eerie to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no tech expert. Can anyone clear this up for me in the comments? A ghost has no use for a haircut, but apparently that doesn't stop one from haunting a famous barber shop called GQ Cuts in La Puente, California. Caught on security cam is a ghostly guest slipping under a blue gown. Everyone, even the woman getting her hair cut, is nervously looking at the chair, waiting for it to move again, which it doesn't. But hold on, nobody sees the scariest moment of all on the shelf above them. A creepy mannequin head turns towards him while he tries to tell everyone what he saw. Thankfully, the moving objects were caught on tape to prove him right. Then again, it could be this fan on full speed that's blowing objects around. Mackie Albertson is a ghost hunter exploring haunted places full of skinwalker sightings to further investigate strange rumors of unknown creatures in the area. She's standing on ancient burial grounds when the bizarreness begins. This place is honestly so creepy. Just the feeling here is just eerie. Like, it's not super scary, it's just eerie. A voice in the dark sounds human, and moments before she gets creeped out. So basically, what had happened was... She's actually caught a ghost orb on camera. This place is honestly so creepy. That's when she has a creature sighting of her own, or so she says. Oh my god. 
gosh, oh my gosh, there's a coyote, there's a coyote, there's a coyote. There's a coyote. Uh, uh, there's a coyote. She very well could have seen a shape shifting skinwalker taking animal form. The camera goes out of focus like something is charging at her. This is the only time it happens. Hello, is someone here? <gasps> Save me. Plus, when she comes back later to the same spot, she gets more evidence in the form of two scary paranormal EVPs. Are there any skinwalkers in this area, area still? Freaky, right? The team from YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series encounters demons in this haunted house. As one of the home's residents gives the team a tour, she expresses surprise at the silence and the spirits respond in kind. You know it's here, but it's like, it's quiet. Because usually you'll hear like a little bit of banging or something like that, but... There you go. The team conducts a spirit session in the house and they tell the spirit to leave. They don't want you here. Say, oh my gosh. He then hears a noise which is not entirely captured by the audio. It sounds like a fing door or somebody walking on wood, kind of. I'll explain it. It's the weirdest sound. A moment later, the audio does capture this. Okay. All right. Yep. I can't do this place. Sean leaves the house and it sits empty for 10 minutes. That's when the steady cam captures this. And this. And also this. What happened there? Was that paranormal activity? I think the spirits in the house are taunting the crew, just as they do the homeowners. But the real question is why? What are they here for? And what will it take for them to leave? What's scarier than being home alone when you think you are, but you're actually not? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Amy Dancing Again, the Redditor explains that she was home alone and making a TikTok video when she started hearing noises. She writes, I heard banging noises from the spare room we use for storage. No one else was home and there seems to also be a weird humming noise. The clip appears to be taken in Amy's room. Although faint, you can hear knocking and banging noises in the background. The strange humming sound could be a car passing or some sort of vehicular noise. But as for the banging, who knows? Can you hear that? Amy asks. Yes, Amy, we can. Time to take a leaf out of Macaulay Culkin's book and start setting up some booby traps. A person is making a video in the woods about their fort when they catch something bizarre that leaves them screaming in horror as they run away. An unknown creature charges at them on all fours. At 45 seconds, you can see its arms are as long as its legs. In other words, not proportionate to a human at all. This video, taken in Texas, looks like it could be one of the many rake sightings that have recently been popping up again across the world. Most rake sightings show the creature screeching from afar. If that is what's captured here, then this video shows how quiet it can be for the element of surprise. While exploring deep inside the Cave of Mounds, YouTuber Near Shadow starts to hear whispers. Listen closely. Oh, your light fell on. What was that? What was that? What is that? Hello? Later, you can definitely hear a child's voice in this larger cavern. Yeah, it looks like it's like gonna fall. Look. It does. This is cool. 
Yeah, is there so much moisture that you like you don't know like look how wet that is and then you can't The team doesn't appear to hear this in the moment. To me the voice sounds a lot louder than the earlier whispers. Is there a child spirit trapped in the cave of mounds? I think it's time to send in the cave divers. Multiple instances of objects moving on their own has a YouTuber named Callum Tonner convinced that his Seattle house is haunted by a fearsome poltergeist. Lots of bizarre activity is frequently caught on camera, so I'm going to analyze the top 5 videos of best paranormal evidence. In the first weird video, he claims to find a coat hanger swinging back and forth in the closet. I will say that they could have pushed the object themselves before recording and then pretended it was a ghost. Normally I would say this video is fake, except this is far from the only scary event in which objects were caught on camera moving on their own and the other videos are much harder to explain. Later that night, with the haunted closet behind him and its doors open, a completely different object is caught moving on camera on its own. What was that? Even if you were moving a magnetic object under the table, I still don't think it would be strong enough to move the other objects through the heavy wooden desk. He creates the paranormal experiment again four nights later, and if you weren't able to tell what the two objects are, it's a flashlight moving across a phone that's turned on. And here's the thing, any magnetic force strong enough to move an object that large should also cause damage to the phone, which it doesn't. The phone is fine, and therefore I think a ghost is moving the flashlight. Four more nights later, the ghost has apparently taken to shuffling through his private card collection. And even more haunting paranormal activity is caught on camera without any explanation. If you were thinking that he bent the cards or something to make them fall over, but not what's happening, you can see more of the cards in this video. They look perfectly straight and evenly balanced, so tell me how these sturdy objects are caught on tape moving. Paranormal activity is all I can think for these super creepy and mysterious events, but I'm open to any other explanation. A YouTuber named Ali H and his dog are exploring the woods behind his old elementary school when he chances upon a GoPro sticking out of the forest floor. He takes it home and reviews the footage out of curiosity. This is what he finds. Ali H says the video made him feel physically uneasy and on alert. He has since called on the YouTube community to look at this video for hidden meanings, but as far as I know, nobody has figured it out. Maybe we should start by reversing the audio portion on this clip to see if it gives us any clues. My Dark Journal is a collection of abstract videos that many people are certain contain hidden messages and deeper meanings, perhaps even clues about a woman who lost her life. The latest video, simply called Wither, starts off with a snowy lamp post and ends with a strange woman walking down the stairs. In the description is a link to a video on a completely different YouTube channel. This video, called Whisper, has images of evil looking building schematics and what appears to be some type of old language. <laughs> I don't expect anyone to really be able to translate the words on that last page, but I'm hoping that someone can. Anyway, in the description box of the Whisper video is a link to yet another video on a YouTube channel called The Oracle of Lies. This third and final video is called Wayne. It shows an old desolate road and more weird imagery, including the same mysterious woman from the first video with her. I'm not sure if there are any hidden messages in any of these videos, but there certainly could be. No fourth video is linked, and the odd trifecta ends there. This could be a simple art montage, or it could be the real thing. Maybe even something from the depths of the dark web. If you are able to make sense of any of these videos, even just a single part, then please let me know what it all means. YouTuber Lloyd's House of Horrors believes his son and daughter have seen a ghost. Hello guys, um, I'm here with my, my kids and I'm in the room and they called me and told me that they seen something. Where did you see it, Mia? Here. 
We're in the washroom. Could you guys show me? Yeah. Okay, come show me this here. One of his kids leads him to the washroom, and when he does, this happens. And here. Okay, show me. Did the ghost just imprison Lloyd's son? While watching this clip over again, I noticed there seems to be something behind the door at this point. The door appears to rebound a bit when the boy opens it wider. Whether what's behind it is a ghost or a person is anyone's guess, though. The adventurer Abdullah Al Anbar heads to the Devil's House of Evil Horror, an abandoned house somewhere in Saudi Arabia that's haunted by a poltergeist, or also known as a jinn. It doesn't take the explorer very long to discover how the house got its nickname. Whatever is in here is beyond creepy. Much to his surprise, every door opens at the same time. It's like he's being invited inside. We all saw the door slam by itself, but I bet you didn't see this elusive shadow person crouch out of sight when he first enters at 5 minutes and 10 seconds. His flashlight begins to flicker as paranormal energy gathers all around. He can sense something malevolent is near. The door is slamming repeatedly by itself. No one is hiding on the other side. That's when the jinn tries to keep him here forever. <laughs> Heavy footsteps follow him down the stairs as he bolts from the house of evil. I'd say the house lived up to its name that night based on his paranormal evidence. When a poltergeist displays his candor over a period of several days, you gotta see it for what it is, a permanent unwanted house guest. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, this video shows a series of poltergeist activities occurring in this couple's kitchen. On day 4, the salt and pepper shaker sitting on the kitchen countertop start to move slightly, then the salt falls over altogether. On day 8, the couple is in the kitchen. The woman is cooking something and sets the hand blender on the counter. It's turned off. She goes to the fridge to retrieve an egg and this happens. She drops the egg in fright, while the man calmly turns off the blender. On day 24, the man enters his kitchen to get a glass of water. His back turned to the stove. One of the burners suddenly turns on of its own accord. A pan on the stove slowly slides over to the lit burner, again all on its own. The man just stands there drinking his water, watching this happen. He takes two eggs from the fridge and sets them on the counter, inviting the poltergeist to cook. Maybe this is the best way to go about living with a poltergeist. Just accept that you have a third, somewhat mischievous roommate. A YouTuber named Outdoors Weekly is fishing with his little brother. When he gets a little too comfortable with his surroundings, and makes the mistake of letting his guard down. Oh! No! Oh my god! Oh, dude! Oh! 
He sees the snake at 2 minutes and 21 seconds, and hears his raised foot approximately 1 second later at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, ready to come down. He was about to step right on it, no doubt about that, but I want to know how bad the bite would have been. Take a look at this reptile. Is this one you can identify? Thanks for the answer, if so. Castles and forts often have long and frightening histories. This one is no exception. Published by Vault of Fear in April of 2012, a family was visiting this old fort when they captured something spooky on camera. The video shows a full torso shadow figure appearing to climb the stairs into the fort. A split second later, two crows flee from the windows. We can assume disturbed by the apparition. Apparently, this site has experienced paranormal activity for some 4,000 years. Judging by this video, that activity isn't going to end anytime soon. We've all played Call of Duty, but what's it really like to be on the front line? This first person footage will give you an idea. The Famous World published this footage in January of 2018. The video, which is 25 minutes long, is filmed from the perspective of the driver of the US Humvee. You can see more vehicles in front and someone outside guiding the driver to position the Humvee as a blockade. The driver tells his commander that the opposing forces are taking fire, which you can hear in the background. You're looking, you're looking uh, south, right? Look for guns that's firing. The driver then hops outside and fires in the direction of the opposing forces. Following some back and forth, the driver arms himself and crosses the desert in open view to cover his brothers in arms, one of whom is hurt on the ground. They load the man into one of the Humvees, and then there's a good amount of running back and forth between the barricade and the Humvee. At some point, they load up to head off. It's unclear whether the opposing forces stood down, but what is clear is the scary standoff was handled textbook by these men. Are You Being Followed? Published by Moosey in August of 2021, one subscriber to the channel claimed there was a paranormal forest near their house, so Moosey went to investigate. This is what happened. Using a paranormal filter on his camera, Moosey takes a few photos. He then goes home to develop them, or at least check them out on his laptop. He shows one of the photos of the paranormal forest without the filter. It looks completely normal, albeit a bit spooky. Note that there's no one in sight. However, the exact same landscape shot with the paranormal filter shows something different. Off to the right, a creepy and mysterious figure with dark hair and a white dress is standing in the brush. She is facing left and looking straight ahead. Another shot of the forest unfiltered again shows no one in sight, but apply the filter and the figure is there again, closer this time, and appears to be looking at Moose. See. Although it's hard to tell, as her face is transparent, she looks as if half of her has been erased. Moosey believes this entity followed him home. If she did, what is she after? I'm guessing his soul. A YouTuber named Brady Galloway is exploring an abandoned school all alone when he hears some kind of high-pitched yelp emerge from the other side of a heavy wooden door. It almost sounds like a small dog, even though there is no way that one would be all the way back here. He opens the door, presumably to see if the animal needs help, and waiting on the other side is a creature that was once human. In this frame, one eye is large and yellow, while the other is small and red. His neck looks turned at an impossible angle and almost broken. Even when he gets closer, the two eyes remain different colors, and neither of them are natural in any way, as he descends upon Andy with a final blow. This paranormal crew investigated the Clearwater Demon House in Reno, Nevada. And judging by this communication with the spirits, dark energy is here. See these bones? Break, please. Oh, I. Break, please. You said, look at these bones. And then it goes, break, 
please. That seems like a clear message. The team later sees a figure on their Kinect device. There too, like just on the edge of the city. There they are. Right. Oh. There? No, it was over there. It was right here by the stairs and then it just appeared back over there. But that's not all. They soon capture an even more ominous presence on camera. Watch the window as this crew member enters the house. I thought I saw some kind of black shadow behind that window, but I didn't even realize until I reviewed the footage that I'd captured probably one of the best shadow figures I've ever seen. Even more interesting, the camera from inside the room captures the opposite side of the window, and there's nothing there. What was that? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. They didn't fully comprehend seeing the shadow figure in the moment, but watching the footage back sent chills up their spine. I know it did mine. After seeing this, I don't think I would have entered that house ever again. Something in this pizzeria has had enough. Posted to TikTok by Flaming Belladonna3, this short clip shows what happens when you anger the pizza gods. The clip shows several workers standing around in the kitchen on a pizza belt to the right. A pizza flipper and a slicer are sitting on the top belt. As the girls chat, the slicer suddenly shoots off the shelf and knocks one of them in the head. How in the world could this happen? Some think the workers angered a ghost by putting pineapple on the pizza. Others, like Jonathan Zwar, suggest that the slicer was on the conveyor and probably was pushing against the metal lip, causing it to be propelled when the tension released. Many in the comments, however, would rather focus on the danger of that slicer. The 509 Grim Knight writes, That could have easily been in Final Destination. So now that all the facts are in, what do you think? Is this an angry pizza ghost or an angry conveyor belt? Security cameras often catch those creatures that we'd rather know nothing about. This is one of them. This video took place in Southern California. The uploader writes, This thing fell through the wood under the eave of my house and struggled for three hours until it fell. The vid starts where it happened in the daytime and then goes to the event. The uploader adds that whatever the creature is came out at the top right near the vent and it happened between midnight and 3.30 in the morning. The footage shows what appeared to be a tentacle-like object which appears and then disappears several times. The pointy end of it starts wiggling and it stretches out as if it's trying to reach the vent. While the other end still attached to the wall, it does finally manage to acrobat over and get its head up in there. Then before you know it, it's squirming up into the vent, its tail waggling all over the place. It's then seen wrapping around a nearby pole before it climbs down the wall. Last seen on the ground at 3.30 in the morning. Looks like an acrobatic snake to me. Whatever the creature is, it's sure to keep you up at night. This reportedly leaked video shows the inside of an underground base full of foreign equipment. Rows and rows of what appears to be storage tanks stretch as far as the eye can see. Though exactly what's inside is anyone's guess. Look closely at these smooth pods and you'll see that each one contains the dark outline of something growing inside. It looks vaguely human, though its true form cannot be determined. The video's quality is very grainy and looks to be taken at least decades ago, if not longer. Experts have been unable to prove a concrete source for this video, meaning it's probably original. I think that a movie set like this would have cost a lot of money to design, so this is either a very high-budget amateur film or most likely real footage taken by unknown people. Let me know what you think it is and be sure to provide more information if you have any. Adam Grayson is making a YouTube video at the hospital after a reaction causes his entire hand to swell. His wedding ring presses into flesh of his finger hard enough to cut off the circulation. Now a surgeon has to cut through the thin band of metal with only a trained eye and a tiny circular saw. One slip will make the situation ten times worse. The friction from the saw creates such an intense heat that nurses must repeatedly squirt water on the ring to cool it off. 
They really do have to delicately cleave through every last millimeter of the ring to get it off. Here, you can just see how close they have to get to Adam's finger before they are able to pry it off. Adam's finger is red and tender. When they are finally finished with the procedure, there is no doubt that in my mind that he would have eventually lost an index figure had he not gotten to the hospital in time. I'm not sure what country this video was shot in, but according to the description, a YouTuber named Just James is exploring a German bunker from World War II when he comes across this terrifying chamber. Is that, is that a noose? The small concrete space has a low hanging rope and a pentagram symbol etched in what I hope is just red paint. There's also a small arrow pointing down to what could very well be a place of sacrifice. Just James doesn't stick around for long and quickly runs away. I noticed they weren't very deep in the bunker, so this strange scene could have easily been created by some other visitors. Maybe a cult really does lurk in these underground bunkers, in which case Just James made a smart decision by turning around. Not only do you have to worry about pyrotechnic incidents at work, you might have to worry about ghosts as well. YouTuber Joey Nike 12 posted this video of a store he claims is haunted in Kingsville. At the beginning of the video, he tells a co-worker, let's go record that room before heading to the haunted room in question. They set a video camera up to record the purportedly paranormal activity that occurs in this room. About three minutes into the footage, you can see a dustpan move ever so slightly, and then not ever so slightly. It falls over and a moment later, the door next to it slams closed. The boys re-enter the room nonchalantly, not knowing the strangeness that has just occurred there. But after coming across this video that went too far, they may not want to enter this haunted storage room ever again. This video was published to YouTube by Truthfinder30330 in March of 2020. Truthfinder's paranormal experience is more than creepy. It's absolutely terrifying. According to the man in the video, who is holding up note cards to explain his situation, he's a student who moved into a townhouse with two roommates who'd begun to experience odd happenings inside the home. He attempted to capture video evidence, but was unable to until now. His roommates also reported strange things occurring. On the night in question, they were out and our friend was home alone in the townhouse. He begins filming upon entering his home. As he's walking around, he starts to hear strange noises, including knocks and then something that sounds like a piece of metal falling on the ground. When he goes to check it out in the kitchen, that's exactly what he finds. A metal ring on the tile floor. It looks like it fell off the light fixture. After going upstairs and putting his keys on his desk, the hall light fixture starts to go nuts, flickering on and off statically. When he turns around facing his room again, something is standing there with a sheet covering it, a human form. He pulls the sheet away to find nothing there. He searches his room to see if there's anything to explain the form. Under his desk in the closet, there's no one there. That is, until he opens his bedroom door to the hallway and again finds this. If this video doesn't creep you out to the max, then you must be Superman. Number 5. This video of a girl brushing her teeth is said to have been found behind a dumpster by a nearby worker taking a break. Deep voices on the tape sound like they must have been slowed down, but her toothbrush sounds normal, so I don't know what's going on here at all. After 14 seconds of this, movement is heard off camera and she is ambushed by something that sounds not of this world. I get the impression that she was not aware that she was being recorded because she never looks at the camera. Maybe it was even taken on the other side of a one-way mirror or through a hole in the wall. One day, a man pulls up to a woman walking alongside her bicycle and asks if she needs help. She says no and indicates that she is living in the house nearby. Things have been strange ever since. 
The next day, the same man pulls all the way up her driveway and parks facing her house for a long time. He eventually backs away and drives off. The weird pattern of behavior continues for quite some time. Sometimes he would even drive by multiple times a day. Each incident was recorded by the home's CCTV system. Eventually, the man encounters her again and is told that she has a husband, but he does not give up. Now a different car shows up. Someone gets out and leaves a note asking if she would like to work for him, whatever that means. Instead of putting the note inside of the mailbox like a normal person, he spends a long time carefully hanging it from a nylon bag and stands around for almost 10 minutes before leaving. The first encounter happened in January, and the tapes stretch on well into the summer months. This man could have very well been obsessing about a woman who he had only met once or twice before. There has been no resolution as far as I know, and I'm not sure if the alleged stalking has ceased. At around 3 a.m. on April 12, 2010, this strange apparition was captured on the security camera of a bar and grill in Las Cruces, New Mexico during closing hours. Published by Ghost Investigations New Mexico in April of 2010, the crew slowed the frame by frame to one eighth speed and shot video of the bar security monitor. What they captured does indeed look like a floating head. In the regular shot, it appears to flash in and out quite quickly, while in the frame by frame, it looks like it actually flew out of sight. You can make out the eyes, nose, and mouth and ears of the head's face, but it doesn't appear to have a body. There was no one inside the bar and grill at this hour. So, what is this thing? Is it the face? of a spirit? Where did its body go? Is there someone hiding out of sight in this wreckage? Published by PH Red Fox, Yoon Sai Won is exploring an abandoned house in Korea when he hears this sound. Is it an animal? A dog? He breaks out his EMF meter, which starts going haywire. He says it's not useful here because they're at the location's deepest point. Using facial recognition software, a scary face is recognized where there seems to be no one. It's recognized again, closer to him this time. Later, while using a spirit box, Saiwan gets the fright of his life. A bang is heard coming from someone unseen. A short while later, he is visited again by the spirit. But he sees nothing, and no one amongst the mess. Is Saiwan being stalked? And if so, by what? This Snapchat video was taken at a school in Esterville, Iowa. You can see a deer standing outside looking very confused before it suddenly tries to get in without warning. Watch out. <laughs> Clearly, the zombie deer wants to get inside however it can, searching around the sides of the glass for an opening before giving up and resuming its confused vegetative state. Those inside are lucky that this deer is too small to break the glass. If this was a full-grown deer running at them, things could have been much different. Hopefully, they contacted animal control and thoroughly disinfected this door before letting anyone touch it. Do you think you could stick it out in an abandoned former asylum and what if you were being watched when you got there? Published to YouTube by This Is Dan Bell in September of 2015, this place of nightmares is a hauntingly beautiful house of horrors. The stone building is hidden in an overgrown woods and naturally, Dan enters the basement first, wallpaper chipping from the wall. As he explores, Dan explains that he kept hearing noises throughout his exploration, which sounded like a person. He thinks a former patient returned to this building and was living there. Well, as a viewer, you're likely distracted by all the intricate details of this building, including its decorative tiles and molding, its stained glass sunroof and one stairwell, its fireplaces and chandeliers. You might miss this figure in the doorway. 
Dan himself only noticed when safely back home. Watching the video back, the point in question occurs at around 7 minutes 5 seconds when he's turning a corner around a stairwell. There's an open door in a hallway beyond with light shining against the door and a shadow is plainly visible. It moves as Dan turns to head up the stairs. Plenty of other strange things occurred during this visit, including Dan's battery popping and what looked like red stains found on the tile floor in an upstairs room. That's probably the point where you should get the heck out of an abandoned building. I'm just glad Dan and his team made it out. The International Space Station is a floating research base built by NASA that orbits around the world. This footage was taken from cameras on the outside and it has led many people to believe that NASA accidentally live-streamed alien contact on television. Everything looks normal when all of a sudden, a small number of UFOs casually travel from right to left across the screen. Stranger still is how NASA suddenly cuts away to a wide shot of the mission control room when this happens. They later claimed that the UFOs were ice particles but perhaps there is another explanation. This phantom is ready for high tea. Published in January of 2022, Sylvia C. writes that she was quietly watching TV when her resident ghost startled up the tea kettle. The security footage shows the electric tea kettle in the kitchen, apparently turned on by the spirit. It shuts off and Sylvia enters the kitchen and asks why it put the kettle on. Spirit in the kitchen, what are you trying to tell me? Why did you do that? The spirit answers rudely in response by throwing a pot lid across the kitchen. Some viewers suggest to Sylvia to keep a detailed log of each of the paranormal events she experiences, including the date and time in her response to them. Others suggest having the house blessed to remove the entity. If you were in Sylvia's shoes, what would you do? I'd be looking to move as soon as possible. When a couple ventured into a lake on their one year anniversary, they set up their video camera to capture their celebratory swim. Little did they know they'd be capturing their last moments together. The couple was in the scenic region of Yemen. The footage shows the man setting up their video camera and entering into the water to join his wife. It appears, however, that the depth of the lake was not what either had expected. His wife was only waist deep, it appears, as she stands fully up upon greeting her husband. Holding hands, they seem to be playing and splashing each other. Then, he takes a step deeper and goes under. He starts splashing around, as does his wife. It's unclear whether he had a hold of her, but both are soon being pulled under. The last thing you see is a hand reach up desperately and then stillness. A few hours after this happened, their camera was discovered near the lake by a passerby. In watching the clip, they witnessed the couple's final moments. The video was uploaded online where it went viral. It's a scary thought to have your final moments alive go viral on YouTube. It's incredibly sad that a happy couple passed away in such a disturbing manner. If you saw this on your home security camera, what would you think? According to Johnny Smither333, who posted the video to the Ghosts subreddit, the strange capture came from his living room's motion detection camera. Whatever this flash is had enough presence to set off the camera, but it's unclear what that blur might be. While many in the comments say it's a bug, others like SPM Wiggy offers more creative suggestions. She writes, It's a tiny witch on a matchstick. Clearly, you can see the hat and the giant witch nose. Another Redditor suggests that it could be gremlins. The Redditor says that in slow motion, it looks like it appeared out of thin air. He also notes that as soon as it gets closer to the camera, it doesn't look like any bug he's seen. Have you seen a bug that looks like this? I know that's likely the culprit in cases of videos like this, but I definitely agree I've never seen a bug that looks like this before. Therefore, there is at least a reasonable chance this is truly paranormal. While investigating a local legend known as the woman in the abandoned house, KBC Casadores de Fantasmas spoke to the spirit of the woman's father. Using an infrared camera, they see a strange figure. <laughs> Thank you.
It doesn't appear in the regular camera footage though. While communicating through a spirit box, it sounds like the spirit is saying someone's name. Later, he speaks another name. He then provides this cryptic message. It means this, here for her. The father then has the last message. This translates to, there is a devil for everything. I'm not sure how to decipher these mysterious messages, but it does seem to me like this father should not be trusted. Mysterious footage of a strange event caught on CCTV leaves one man wondering if they live in a haunted house when a bookshelf purges itself of reading materials in the dark of night. Soon afterwards, the door opens and a man looks into the empty hallway like he's seen a ghost. Judging from his timid reaction, thrown objects are a classic sign of poltergeist activity. However, some people in the comments say this was done with strings. There's one book that falls in the opposite direction as the rest. Is this simple physics or another sign from the paranormal? This toy is apparently possessed by a spirit who wants to imitate whatever its living counterpart does. Here you can see the toddler sitting on a toy truck, so the spirit decides to do the same. All around that toy. There it goes again, there it goes again. Yep, there it goes again, there it goes again. Orbs dance all around the yellow toy truck as its wheels slowly creep forward, almost unnoticeable at times. At one point, a larger orb seems to trace the outline of the truck itself in a zigzagging pattern. And maybe it's just me, but it looks like the child notices something too. I'm pretty convinced that this is a real paranormal counterpart, but I'm definitely open to other logical explanations, so be sure to tell me what you think is happening here. No, this is not about a grizzly bear wadding into a river. This is about a human named Bear taking his show Man vs. Wild to the extreme and venturing out into Alligator River which is full of, you guessed it, alligators. If you're familiar with Man vs. Wild, you know that Bear Grylls' thing is to take a dive into situations where he might not come out alive on the other side. Instead of cracking under pressure, he uses his survival experience and his sense of humor to walk viewers through the experience with him. Often with some educational bits thrown in here and there. Although the show's premise is founded on situations like this, this scary moment when Bear enters an alligator-ridden river is probably one of the most grating and fearsome ever on television. As Bear wades in, he nonchalantly tells viewers that alligators likely see humans as turtles or other prey, and they'll take you down like it's nothing. He would be a snap twig if the huge reptile was to get him, which it could at any moment. Bear looks frightened as he dives in, knife in hand, viewers watch, holding their breath, as Bear crosses the murky waters, but thankfully he makes it across without incident. Breathe freely. Sometimes fear is all in the buildup. Check out what a YouTuber named Aqua Chigger found growing on the bottom of a river in Williamsport, Maryland. It's a riverbed full of green gelatinous plant life that strangely sways and shimmers. Aqua Chigger believes he may have found some kind of a brightly colored underwater alien colony. Well, I'm not so sure about that. I certainly do think this is a strange find. Let me know if you have seen anything like it before, and if so, what it could be. An abandoned school that served as a German headquarters a long time ago. A ghostly female apparition spotted in the window. This dilapidated site is ripe for exploration. Originally published by Dark Ghost Paranormal, this scary video follows Dennis as he takes on the challenge. Using a spirit box, Dennis tries to find out what is going on here. The spirit box immediately informs him that a spirit is here. She says that he doesn't know her. After asking if she burnt the place down, she answers in the affirmative. 
Это ты сожгла это помещение? Да. She also says they did it to me, they burned me. Они это сделали со мной. And Dennis is told they're in the basement, whoever they are. Dennis heads inside to have a look. After asking for a sign of the spirit's presence, he is given one. Down in the basement, he finds something like a bunker. While speaking with the spirits, a box makes a noise in the corner. His lights go out, and he hears mysterious knocks in the room. He tries the door at the end of the room, but it seems shut tight. When he asks the spirits through the spirit box what they want from him, they have a simple answer. After the spirits warn him to leave, and the lights go out again, suddenly he looks up to find the door open. He gathers his stuff and gets out of there in the nick of time. Another camera on the outside of the room captures the door opening on its own. Is this the spirit of whoever set fire to the lady in the window? Or is it the lady herself? A YouTube channel called DIY.com decides to do some paranormal investigating at a haunted place in San Francisco called Stowe Lake. They're exploring for a while when this creepy statue comes at them from the darkness. Soon they notice that his camera seems to skip frames or twitch as he calls it. Watch the frames skip whenever he passes over their faces. Faster. Well, you see how it twitches? Yeah. The camera? Uh -huh. Did you see that? Uh-huh. Can you guys do that again? See? It twitches. It twitches, yeah. I couldn't really see what they were talking about until they addressed one of the children directly. That's when you can see a major frame loss that's scary enough to make one of them run away screaming. Little girl. Oh, you see that? <laughs> <laughs> You can see it again in slow motion. Freaky, right? On March 17, 2021, members of Muso del Horror traveled to a derelict building in an unknown city in Mexico, live streaming the entire adventure. Just after beginning their investigation, the group ventures to the side of the building. As they come to some stairs on the side, a faint growl can be heard on the audio. <laughs> None of the participants noticed it during filming, but viewers were quick to point it out in the comments. It sounds either like a growl or an attempt to whisper something, but it is difficult to determine what. From here, they enter the building, which is hollowed out and falling apart. Nothing of note happens until just after the 40-minute mark of the stream. A high-pitched noise can be heard, almost like a screech or another hiss, albeit longer than the previous one heard. It's also possible that this was the sound of something rubbing against another object, similar to metal rubbing against metal. The last speculation is it could be someone breathing in, possibly one of the explorers, although nobody else seems to be around except Alfondo holding the camera, and he starts speaking before the sound goes away. Si está bien la distancia, todo está bien. The team decides to conduct a Ouija board session, which is not recommended for amateur explorers, by the way, to see if they can get any activity. Not long after starting, a very faint voice can be heard on the audio. It sounds as if there are words in there, but it is almost impossible to make out. The voice can be heard speaking, over questions being asked, could someone be trying to communicate? Soon they get an answer of yes on the board after being asked a question, and the board remains active for some time. When asked if it is a man, it responds no. Three. 
Throughout the session, dogs can be heard barking wildly in the background. The dogs were rather quiet prior to starting the Ouija board and now they are nearly frantic. Animals are known to be sensitive of the paranormal. Could they be distressed at what the team is doing? Or is there another explanation? In the midst of this session, by far the most bizarre event happens. Alfondo's attention is called away to a strange light manifesting on the opposite side of the building from where they are. In the opposite corner, it appears as if a flame has been lit, flickering. Suspicious others might be in the building. They call out and make their way to the area. One of the team Team members shows a few photos she took, and along with the glow of a fire, the windows make it appear to be daylight outside. However, the video camera always showed the windows to be dark. Furthermore, the photo camera was not using a flash, meaning it could not be a reflection. What could this mean? They decide to do a spirit box session, and instantly, the sounds the box makes sound straight out of a horror movie itself. While it is most likely caused by the rapid switching through radio frequencies, we have never heard another session sound as terrifying as this. Alfondo walks with the device to the other end of the building and throughout hears some disturbing sounds. First what sounds like someone wailing in distress. The most disturbing capture of the night is what sounds like a child crying out in fear or pain. It's hard to imagine what could have happened at the location, as it appears some manner of horrors still reside there, endlessly crying out in the afterlife. If you have a heart, this entry will break it. It was this woman's dream to arrive at her wedding by helicopter. She decided to surprise her husband at the altar by doing just that. Alongside her brother in July of 2017, she climbed aboard the copter. The flight took off in Brazil, just one mile from the reception venue. The excited bride-to-be and her brother are both smiling at the beginning of the video as they take off. But soon they're swallowed up by fog. An alarm starts going off and the camera begins to shake. You can hear the passengers screaming as the pilot loses control of the copter. All four pass away in the incident. When the copter didn't arrive at the venue after 15 minutes, despite the organizers being informed of its liftoff, the pastor was forced to tell the groom the devastating news, as neither he nor any of the other 300 guests had known about the planned entrance. The incident came as an absolute horror to the entire wedding party. It's painful to imagine and harder to watch. Posted by Footage Finder 57 to the found footage subreddit, you'll probably rethink your next camping trip after watching this piece of found footage. A group of people are hanging out around a campfire watching videos on a big screen and chatting. One of them notes that their friend Alexis went to the bathroom and has been gone for a very long time. They decide to investigate. As they're walking through the forest, a scream pierces the night. They start running towards it, shouting out her name. In the middle of the forest, they come across a strange teepee made of logs. When they peer inside, there's a person tied to a tree stump. And then... Whatever four-armed or legged creature has captured Alexis comes after them too. The group screams. The camera is dropped and no more is heard. <laughs> Redditor Tribal Transfusion 311 pulled a still shot of the creature. This is what we're dealing with. Although the origins of the video are unknown, this found footage is certainly one of the best quality if faked, and one of the most terrifying if not. A TikToker called Upbeat Yamaha is traveling a normal speed and is surprised when this truck abruptly pulls over to let him pass, then begins to mysteriously speed up to follow him. Upbeat Yamaha gets paranoid and pulls over in a neighborhood to watch the white car pass, but when he pulls out in the main road, the white truck slows down and deliberately pulls over again. Okay, now what is this truck seriously doing? Nothing looks wrong with his car, so for some reason he must be watching this biker. 
Now he is getting freaked out at this point and pulls over one more time, but as you can see the truck stays at a stop sign and refuses to turn until he goes first. This part confirms to me at least that the truck is absolutely following him and not going to give up anytime soon. The vehicle keeps appearing in the strangest of places, and I personally think upbeat Yamaha should have called the authorities at this point, but he doesn't, and is eventually followed to where he lives. The police later show up at his house because for some reason his bike was reported as missing. It was almost certainly the man in the white truck who called it in. Though why he thought the bike was taken to begin with, let alone felt compelled to follow someone all the way to their home, is something this video cannot explain. A scary 3am video's got a YouTuber named Logical Leprechaun scratching his head in disbelief along with both of his parents too. The thing runs for like another minute and he never comes back, he never does anything else, wherever this... It is. Never rings again. Is that wearing a dress or something? Again. The mysterious figure sets off the ring doorbell camera alert one time and never again despite passing back and forth numerous times. It's the 4th of July so somebody could have been walking around outside, but there's no reason for them to be this out of focus and definitely no reason to appear out of nowhere. It's just it's, it's like dark a, there like and then yeah, boom. Out of, the out of nowhere. Logical Leprechaun says that nothing has appeared so blurry before or after this mysterious figure was caught on camera. It's no different than other doorbell cameras and works fine, other than this mysterious night. I think it could be paranormal unless there is some technical explanation that someone could help me better understand. Schwinn Protocol wants to remodel his dreary basement, which only has a dirt floor. After digging many layers down, he finds this rusty old entranceway that presumably extends even deeper. He doesn't really have a good feeling about this at all, but he needs to know everything about the basement before he can get the job done, so he has to see for himself what's on the other side. He lifts the heavy cement plug and white orbs soon follow, though I guess they could also be dust particles. Either way, he is puzzled to find a wide cavern filled with darkness. As his light traces along the rough edges of the floor, he slowly begins to piece together some unnerving observations out loud. Uh, that's probably about a 13 or 15 foot drop. So definitely a bigger person wouldn't be able to fit down there. I can't, wouldn't even be able to fit a ladder down there though, so. So basically, this is a deep hole with an entrance that's too small for an adult, but just the right size to squeeze through a child. I'm not sure what this was really used for, but I do agree that it's weird to have a random hole in your basement that's easy to fall into and tough if not impossible to get out. To be fair, the YouTuber later wrote in the description that he thinks it was part of a drainage system that's no longer in use. Maybe he's right, or maybe he's just trying to explain something that he wishes he never saw. Someone could have spent their entire childhood down there for all we know. Someone is watching in the woods. Published by Mr. Horror, this short clip shows a group hanging out in the forest and what looks like the ruins of an abandoned structure. As the camera turns from the surrounding trees to the building, it captures something creeping around the door frame. The mysterious figure is but a flash, and its features are indistinct. It quickly pulls out of view. The cameraman hurries forward, revealing a campfire built outside to the right, but it looks like the creature is long gone. What was it? Are they being stalked by the unknown? It sure looks that way to me. A live streamer named Spetsnaz Boss suspects his house could be haunted. After catching this moment on his channel, he is fully engrossed in the game when the clothing on his door lifts up for no reason at all. This looks not good. Please, I don't wanna go, please. The sleeve of his jacket raises in the air, as if to say hi to all of his fans watching. There could be a chance this is staged, especially considering he is coincidentally playing a scary horror game, but maybe his fear is precisely what attracted it. A ghost hunting channel called American Phantom Hunters have been exploring haunted places for decades, and this paranormal investigation is one of their creepiest videos yet. 
The Palmer House in Minnesota is a haunted hotel that was rebuilt after a terrifying fire took many lives. Some people never checked out and still roam the hallways as a ghost. Mysterious sightings of paranormal activity are said to terrify any ghost hunters who dare to investigate the haunted hotel. There always seems to be a ghost slamming doors and moving objects, whispering voices in dark hallways, and even a little ghost girl who bounces a ball down the stairs late at night. American Phantom Hunters begin their paranormal investigation by carefully setting up ghost hunting equipment at one of the most haunted places in the whole hotel, the stairs, where a little ghost girl likes to push a ball down late at night. Within minutes, their carefully calibrated paranormal equipment is detecting electromagnetic activity from a nearby ghost, perhaps the little girl herself. Can you come back up? 296. Ooh. I got it on film. Can you come to these steps? Can you stand on these stairs? One eighty eight. Two pieces of paranormal equipment independently verify the presence of a ghost. The large blue screen displays a black bar that represents movement, in this case a ghost girl running up the steps. Their paranormal investigation yields results as their questions are answered quickly and in time. Can you touch that device again? 40, 30. Something just went by on that meter too. Jeez. And this digital thermometer detects a drop of 3 degrees from 75 degrees to 72 degrees, paranormal evidence of a chilling effect as a ghost passes by. At this point, the supernatural energy is so prevalent that one of the ghost hunters has their phone messed up and display the wrong year entirely. She is unable to access any of the paranormal evidence on her phone while standing at these stairs. They set up a spirit box to capture any scary ghost EVPs on tape, and that's when the strange knocking noises begin. Can you touch that yellow device on the stairs for me real quick? Thank you. Hello? Accompanied by the scary whispering voices of a little ghost girl. At times, the EVP sounds like they are coming from the spirit box, but at 6 minutes and 25 seconds, the scary voice whispers may be right into the camera from behind. Hey. Can you come down the stairs? They try to talk to the little ghost girl some more and manage to capture these spooky EVPs on tape. How are you? Do you care if I go upstairs? Wait. Wait. Okay. I'll be After gathering enough evidence, they decide to leave the haunted hotel, and so they say their paranormal goodbyes, but as they are leaving, they hear a voice whisper something scary in the darkness. They hear the word castle, but I hear cast down. What do you think this scary voice is whispering? Either way, the fact that they hear the EVP outside of the house is a terrifying sign because it means something could have attached itself to them. So something tells me they aren't exactly safe. An unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as a UAP, was captured at Dreamland in Dripping Springs, Texas, and shared by Redditor My Brian on Acid. Recording the alien spaceship. It's like not moving at all. The uploader says another source reported on this same sighting. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away. It's not moving at all. The post the Redditor is referring to was captured by someone walking their dog who believed the UAP to be a planet, but once they looked at it through their binoculars, they noticed a dark center and a haze around the object. In the comments, Redditor Cronin Siglos appeared to crack the code, writing that it's a high altitude balloon called an HBAL 604. After seeing one of these, I have to agree. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away, it's not moving at all. 
Aquatic researchers are stunned to see this massive shark pass by their cameras at a depth of 3,300 feet below sea level. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Got it. Yeah. I can't can you get him on? Oh, whoa. Oh, look how thick he is. He's huge. As the giant shark circumnavigates their equipment, the researchers try to estimate its measurements based on the space between the two laser dots. While this size falls short of an adult megalodon, some people have pointed out that this could be a juvenile. Since all scientists have to go off of is their teeth and backbone fossils, we may never know for sure. It's 3 in the morning when Daniel, Christian Sin's dog, begins growling and the bedroom door swings open. Daniel is staring into the dark hallway while recording with his camera, waiting for something to happen. What a trip. Here you can see what could be the head, shoulders, and left arm of a shadow person. It's towards the corner of the room on the right hand side. Let me know if you see it. Then the shadow appears again, much closer this time. It's way too dark though, so I can't tell for sure if it's a shadow or just his thumb. Tyler Heitzen is bored in math class when he notices a ceiling panel going berserk all by itself. None of the other ones are moving except this one, though I can't say why. I know it can't be a fan blowing or anything like that because the Snapchat audio is very clear. Take a listen. If this is real, like he says, then I think it might be time for Tyler to transfer classes and maybe even schools. Uh, this is not like your regular staircase. It's just not like where you can look directly all the way to the first floor. A man knows his apartment building has a ghost in the stairwell. Um, it's a creepy place. He nods politely at someone going downstairs. Time passes and then he notices something strange. I haven't heard of Mexico. That's the weird thing. He saw someone enter. He heard them go down the steps and yet they never leave. More weird sounds is the only response he gets. He seems like a different person in a video update six months later, much more cautious, like a lot has happened to him in the time since. Creepy things have been happening here, and I know this place is definitely haunted. This is where things get weird in a creepy way. The door he just came through is now open, and downstairs is a dark space that suddenly clears up. What is that? I gotta look at that. That was a shadow figure. When he goes to where the alleged shadow figure was, nothing's there. Here it is one more time zoomed in at 22 seconds. I might see a small figure, but help me decide if it's paranormal or just my imagination. Have you ever seen videos on social media that were so concerning that you considered calling the cops? A redditor explains that this days old TikTok account is posting disturbing videos. He writes that the video's creator keeps posting 15 second clips over several days and that neither viewers nor the platform appear to have alerted authorities. 
The clip posted by Mandy shows a woman on a baby cam crying while having her hair brushed by a man. When her head droops, he lifts her chin back up to face the camera. Some in the comments say that it's so creepy they can't even watch. Excited Koalas 29 mentions, if y'all look at the people they're following, this starts to look like a new horror account. They're following a lot of verified users, as well as celebrities. That's always a good sign that it's fake. Although Koala says he isn't trying to discredit the clip, which could potentially be real, we hope that he is right that it's some sort of horrible horror fiction. Other clips posted by Mandy shows the girl as well. In one of them, the girl is wringing her hands before being fed something from a man off screen, who then pets her hair. Another clip shows her rocking back and forth, and in yet another, she seems to be eating something off the ground. Redditor Jula Mad weighs in. The content is gross one way or another and needs to be reported to the authorities. If this is real, then I definitely agree. But as the other Redditor pointed out, there's a good chance it isn't. This bike rider is about to get ghosted. Published by Scary Desk in February of 2022, a man on a motorbike stops in the middle of the road and he's looking down the street at something. A pedestrian also stops nearby and he seems to be looking at the same thing, which which so far is off screen. After the pedestrian leaves, we see this. A shadow figure walks determinedly at the dude on the motorbike. As he gets closer, he disappears for a moment, but the man deliberately pushes his bike over as if to make a blockade between them and then runs off. The shadow figure suddenly reappears, and he surprisingly runs off too in the opposite direction. What is going on with this confrontation? It looks like the shadow was as afraid of the encounter as these guys were. This unnerving doorbell cam footage was taken somewhere in New Mexico. A random person walks up to a house in the middle of the night and just basically goes crazy without warning. They appear to have lost all sense of reason as they first yank on the doorbell cam and then start to scale the wall. It's unclear if they are really trying to gain access to the house itself or if they are just out of their minds and doing whatever spontaneously comes next. After a while, they come back into view and kind of wobble around. This next part sounds like they might have even fallen over, but I'm not exactly sure. Overall, the strange man seems more confused than necessarily looking to cause havoc, but I would still not want to encounter this potential maniac either way. Here's a video that is either 100% fake or 100% terrifying. A family from the Philippines is going for a joyride when they spot a pedestrian ahead of them who is scary enough to make them bust out the cameras and start recording. <laughs> The obvious answer is that this person could have just pulled their shirt over their head as a prank, but look a little closer and you can see that there is a pair of fully developed shoulders that lead up to the neckline, right where the head should be. You can even see sweat stains where the shoulder blades are. Also, more importantly, how would they be able to walk so smoothly like that with a shirt covering both of their eyes? This person definitely has a strong sense of direction. I can't tell if this video is real or not, but a local myth in the Philippines would suggest it is actually real. Apparently, when you live in the Philippines and you see a person who is missing their head, it is a symbol that means they are going to pass away soon. Therefore, a lot of people think that this video is proof that the legend is real. A YouTuber named Faster Than Pasta is experimenting with a homemade Ouija board and manages to contact a 44-year-old spirit named Simon. Simon doesn't appear to be very happy about being summoned and interrogated by some kids, so he spells out his displeasure. Uh. Do you want to be friends? Um, we're so, we're so sorry. Less than 10 minutes later, Faster Than Pasta begins to look different and feel strange. 
She looks at her hands as though they are foreign objects, and then her head goes down. Her knees give out and she falls to the ground, woozy. When she recovers, she looks over at her friend Jimmy only to discover that now he is the one acting strange. It seems as if Simon the spirit is switching between both of them at will. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, what, what are you doing? What happened? Eventually, Jimmy too passes out with absolutely no recollection of what happened upon waking. Tell me if you think they are really getting possessed or just acting. Parts of this video look pretty convincing, but I can't say for sure. Blurry Faces is a YouTuber exploring two mysterious schools standing next to each other. They were both built around World War II and have been abandoned for a long time. Everything starts out normal until Blurry Faces is exploring an upstairs room full of classroom furniture. After that, something seems to be stalking them at every turn. The strange banging noises only grow louder and more persistent as time wears on. I will give them credit for being courageous and sticking around for so long. This is the event that finally makes them lose their composure and scramble. This time, Blurry Faces bravely tests the weight of the door himself and finds that it's way too heavy to swing open with such ease. You can tell he is putting a lot more effort into opening and closing the door than whatever just opened it moments earlier. Tell me what's written in Spanish across the door and if it has any significance to what could be possibly lurking inside. After receiving a movement notification on her Nest camera while on vacation, Redditor Delta9Junkie found this and posted it to the Ghosts subreddit. Watch for the strange morphing shadows. And a moment later, this happens. It looks like a shadow mist seeps out from under the kitchen island. Although I'm at a loss, Reddit has its theories about how that type of shadow might have been cast. Well, I might go with the dishwasher steam theory. The Redditor says the dishwasher wouldn't have been running since they were on vacation. Others point out that you can see whatever is being reflected on the shiny cabinets as well. So if you're looking for the best logical explanation, an insect crawling over a light source seems to be the winner. But I don't know. I wouldn't rule out a paranormal anomaly. Don't believe in unknown beings? What if one strolled right up to tap on your window? This unknown being footage, posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by 77 Curen, will inspire you to take a trip over to Area 51. The footage shows an unknown being approach the window of a home. Its features are quite clear, with black gashes for eyes and an elongated cranium. You know, the kind of features you might expect from an unknown being. The unknown being stands there, peering into the home observing. It even looks as though it's trying to find a way to open the window. If that is indeed what it's doing, it doesn't succeed, instead slinking off, perhaps to find the homeowner to take him. What do you think of this unknown being footage, real or fake? Either way, I'll be locking my windows tonight. A strange creature sighting in Russia on a store camera is about as creepy and mysterious as it gets. Two people are standing outside late at night, and all of a sudden one of them is dumped on the ground. You can see something invade his space. At 12 seconds just before he falls, the other man tries to help but is of little use. Whatever has a hold on his friend is too strong, and so he runs back into the store. At 21 seconds, something briefly appears to hover over the poor man, a strange creature with little shape, perhaps paranormal, and he is pulled off camera. After 10 seconds, it looks like the creature has left and so the second man goes to check on his friend. At 42 seconds, something invisible splashes a puddle in front of him and his friend is flung through the entrance. Low quality CCTV videos are pretty easy to edit, so this video might be a fake. What do you think? A YouTuber is walking around the local swamps when he stumbles upon a tree unlike any he has ever seen before. Creepy. A grimacing skeletal face of solid oak emerges from the trunk. 
Its sagging eyes, ceased brow, pointy nose with two nostrils, and square chin are all clearly visible. You don't even have to squint your eyes or look at a certain angle to see it. It's there right away, and it's even sitting on a long twisted neck. There's no way to carve this, and the green speckles on its cheek perfectly match the markings found elsewhere on the wood. In other words, this isn't some kind of Hollywood sculpture plaster. It's an actual face found on a tree in the middle of nowhere. Fallon Taylor is a YouTuber who got the scare of a lifetime while competitively riding. She has almost finished a timed run when a surprised audience member points to something off camera. Less than four seconds later, a huge white bull breaks free from its pen and nearly collides with Fallon Taylor and her horse. Watch again and you'll see how close Fallon comes to getting knocked clean off. She barely dodges the bull by a few feet and makes it back to the safety of the horse pen. At first, I thought the perspective made the event look exaggerated, but Fallon later says she had to put her arm out and could almost touch the bull. I definitely believe her, but I'd like to know how close you thought the bull was when you first saw this video. Oftentimes, we see movements out of the corner of our eye and we think we're imagining things. What if we aren't? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Kid Blast Double, this clip got Redditors up in arms. The video shows someone entering their backyard with their dog, but check out the fence beyond. A shadow figure can clearly be seen fleeting across the yard. It arrives behind the tree and doesn't move beyond. Apart from slightly peeking from around the tree, which can be seen on the close-up of the clip, the top comment was from Redditor Dads for Sons, who said he'd watched the clip on repeat a million times, and his first reaction was, whoa, the slow-mo gives him the chills, he says. In response, Redditor PaulVS88 points out that the OP, Big Pappy Thunder, said, honestly didn't think anyone would get it, or that it would somehow get nearly 7,000 upvotes, but here we are, figured I'd bamboozle maybe five people, then take it down for a laugh. Redditors with a sense of humor how to laugh about about it. Tactius Kilgore writes, The shadow people have him and are in control of his Reddit account. There was one oddity in the video that was unedited, however, the thing peeking, but Thunder thinks that it was more likely a light from far away or from the yard behind than the shadow ghost that he'd edited into the footage. Still, this video will likely have you second guessing the next thing you see out of the corner of your eye. Be careful, the shadow arms are reaching out to pull you to the other side. I came across this image in the Vietnamese-speaking YouTube community. It was the thumbnail to a list video. I searched for the source of this image, but was unable to find where it is originally from, though I think this video may be associated with that image, which was shared on the Spanish list channel, Breakman. Cold TV credits King Frostmare for the video, but King Frostmare in turn credits it to Spanish channel Breakman. According to them, a Breakman subscriber submitted it to the channel, but even more mysterious than the source of this video is the creature reaching its long arms out from behind the door. Something else I find strange is that the guy who walks toward the door seemingly disappears. Well, that could be explained by a second door leading into the wall we cannot see. What can't be explained is his lack of reaction to the scary shadow arms reaching out from behind the door. Is this a practical joke, or is this an authentic unsolved mystery? I think there's a monster in that room, and its shadow arms are about to snatch up its next victim. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.